you'll be able to see all the products that have been in today's show. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one PNP. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. A great big good morning to you. Welcome to the Sunday show. I am, of course, joined by a whole room full of fantastic jewelry makers. I've been in there this morning. We're going to go back in there in just a tick. And of course, I am joined by the extremely talented and just a lovely lady. Oh, thank you. Hello. Delicious Debs. Hello, everybody. You're Hello. fab. You are very, very healthy breakfast. You're eating a fruit uh -huh. as well. Aren't I good? You are good because I've sat I'm here good. and eaten two lollipops and some lint chocolates. What can you do? Other chocolates are available. <laughs> <laughs> in today's show, we have got one kit that you are going to go crazy for. Absolutely heart melting labradorite in there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. We've all been swooning over it this morning. You know what I've got? The most amazing strand of kunzite, and not just any kunzite. I want you to look at the clarity of this amazing gemstone. You'd be very hard pushed to find anything with kunzite for less than a couple of hundred pounds out there. Kunzite like this with quality in a ring, let's say. This is one of the most incredible strands of distinction I give to you later on Kunzite. Now I need to let you know it's super, super limited edition. It's absolute luxury. I've got the most amazing pearls for you in today's show as well. Look at the size of these. Could they be any more South Sea Pearl? Oh my goodness gracious me. How beautiful. They're absolutely huge. They're over 11 mils. Oh my goodness, the biggest pearls we've got in stock. Debbie's face. Well, you just need to put, just need a, a couple of elasticated pearl bracelets and you get yeah. your money back time over, don't you? Just I, well, I love perfect. them. Oh, beautiful. They're the perfect size <gasps> there, those Audrey Hepburn yes, pearls. Yes, gorgeous. I thought they must be shell pearl at that size. They're not. They're freshwater Are they really? organic pearls. <gasps> They're so stunning, Debbie. Honestly, I'm absolutely in love with those. Imagine that and the kunzite. Oh, today we are spoiling you for sure. Hope you've woken up with a big smile on your face and a bacon sarnie and a cup of tea. I have got for you now the opportunity to grab yourself the gizmo with two DVDs and a jig. And the price tag I'm about to give you is going to knock your socks off. You need to be on the phone lines. We've only got a few of these. I give to you the coiling gizmo. Now, if you want to know what you can create with the gizmo, you can create anything. Debbie will show us in today's show, but you can create anything with those coils. So let me see if I can find. So on the DVD that you get, here's an example of that. And the coils are neat and tidy and they're so, so easy to do. So you get the gizmo in itself. You get two rods, so you get two different thicknesses. You've got the Gizmo Wirework Projects DVD Edition 1 and your Wirework Edition 3 plus the jig. Now within the jig, you've got two reels of wire. You've got your gold and your silver. You are ready to create some of the most amazing wire work with this bundle. We're going to give it to you for a ridiculous price. We should be giving you all of this, I reckon. Do, 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 about 25 pounds. The price tag I'm gonna give you is unbelievable. Now we don't have as many as we'd like of these. We've got about 150, which isn't a lot when you consider the fact that we repeat this show all the way up until tomorrow morning. 
Apart from when we're live between nine and five, you need to be on the phone lines. There are two ways that you can come shopping with us here at Jewelry Maker, and we do love your company, especially on a Sunday. 0800 644 655 BJG C48 is the item code that you need to come shopping with us online or the W's.jewelrymaker.com. Don't forget, it's 1 p.m. all day long. No matter how heavy your baskets get, you're never going to pay any more than that 1 p.m. Yes! If you were to get this gorgeous bundle, this fabulous bundle for $18.95, you'd be getting a good deal. Let's see what you can create. The DVDs should be about £10 on their own. They're £4.95 each and just a little bit under 10, 10 pennies under te a tenner. Have a look at what you can create with your jig work. Look at this. Incredible. With your gizmo. Now your jig, you can make the filigree style links. How amazing is that? And it's not hard to do. These look like pretzels, don't they? Get yourself involved because the price tag. So we should be paying around 25 pounds, which actually, when you think about what you've got, two reels of wire, a gizmo, the jig, the wire comes within the jig pack and two DVDs. I'm not even gonna ask you for 15.95 for all of this. We're going mega low. Are you ready for a fabulous price tag? You're not ready. You're not, not when you see how much we're gonna give this to you for. 8.95, unbelievable at under 10 pounds. This is crazy. Think about, do you know what? It's not even the price of the DVDs together. This is crazy. If you're thinking about get stocking up on your DVD tutorials, then this is the way to do it and get everything else for free. It's crazy. Now look, this is an example of what you can create with a jig. Now, was that, this was actually done freehand. But, and this is from uh, Joe last night. But I want, if, you don't, if you're not confident on doing those freehand designs, you can create them with the jig. Easily just wrap around that jig. 8 95 there are loads of you on the phone lines. Already a quarter of the stock has now gone and been allocated. It's so lovely to have your company this morning. It's so lovely of you to join us here on a Sunday. Hope you're going to get your roast in, got your heating on. It's all cold and rainy outside. Jewelry making with us. Now there's there is a queue on the phone lines for this. Well, not surprised at you. What a price tag! I did tell you. If we're giving this to you at fourteen ninety five, fifteen ninety five, even eighteen ninety five, great great deal. Eight ninety five. We are giving it away at that price tag. Approaching half the stock has now been allocated. I'm going to keep you updated the whole time. There are people in queues. Please hold the lines. Check out baskets. A couple of you are buying more than one of these. Maybe you're buying one for your best friend as well. Get yourself jewellery making. Not surprised. Don't forget you have got two reels of wire, gold and silver, within that jig. I think you've got about a metre of each. £8.95. pence. You're ready to go as soon as you get this home. Now, there are two minute long queues on the phone lines. Please bear with. BJG C48 is the code that you need. I'll keep you up to date on the stock of that one. I can confirm that half the stock has been allocated. It's time for me to give to you Debbie's challenge. Debbie's going to use your early bird as well. So we're going to see some kids work. We're going to see some jig work. And Debbie's actually a massive fan of the jig, aren't you, Debs? Anything to do with wire work, I think, is so popular, and it just complements all the gemstones, doesn't it? Really, and it, it makes does. them go a little bit further, That's and what sometimes Jones take said last the night. weight off off the gemstones sometimes. But it does complement them; it really does. It's a way of adding your own inspired yeah, designs to pieces right. as well. It takes away from being a simple stretchy to an incredible elaborate wire work bracelet or a fabulous bib style neck. And it's so easy to do. Now, Debbie's got some wonderful gemstones. I love Botswana Agate, and I think I got some peach tones in here, which you can pick out. You've got some pinks in here. Now, what I love about this gemstone is that you can see all the natural patterns. And you can tell you're using a genuine gemstone. Mm. And this is the beauty of working with real gemstones. I think each one's got its own fingerprint. Each one's got its own identity. You just can't create that with plastic or glass. It's fabulous, isn't it? Brazilian agate in the gray agate. Isn't that gorgeous? Then your Botswana agate. And look at this, olive green agate. 
I've never, do you know what? I love these, Debbie. The size and the shape of these is something I've not seen here before. I've never seen those before. Aren't they unusual? That's moss agate. They are fabulous. I could see these on maybe um, a little Kirby grip, a, a lovely spray off them. Nice luster from that surface. Yes, in fact, you could do your lovely little flowers. Couldn't you have those as little leaves? Yes. You know, they look almost like little pieces of marble. They do with all the patterns in them. Yeah. Actually, do you know what? Have you ever seen like a pressed flower? Yes. Well, of course you yes, have. Yes. Yeah. You look here. That's what these. You, you've got to get kind of close to these. It looks like they've got pressed flowers inside yeah, them. Really I haven't pressing. done that for years. I used to do yeah. that when I was little all the time. Press them in books and then come to That's the book right. years later and go. Oh. Now you've got three wonderful strands, and I love the greys. They're going to be very popular in the summer. Greys and pinks together. Beautiful, the, aren't they? I think the colours for next season or the summer are um, the teal blues. The green, mint green, that's yeah. sort of, any shade of green is going to be really, really oh, popular. I love that. Apricots going through to the slightly sort of brick sort of colours. Yeah. And then the pale turquoise to the teal. And, and of course, those colours go with them all. You're going to use so all of these as well, aren't you? Mm. You know, what I love about this three strand pack is that you've got three very different shapes, three very different sizes. You've got some lovely colour in here as well. So this is a really great stash builder. And if you have a look at the Botswana, we've got some sunny yellows in there. We've got some dusky pinks. We've got some greys. We've got some whites. We've got some smokies. We've got some burnt orange tones in there as well. You, there's such a lot to pick out. Now, you can either pick them out individually, take them all off the strand, put them all in their own colour groups. Have a look at these greys. Now, I'd put one of these in a ring. I think they'd be great for a ring, and I love that colour. It's a, a colour that we can see ourselves wearing to work. It's a colour we can see ourselves wearing just popping into town, doing a bit of shopping, you know? And I, I just love these. I'm thinking tiaras, fascinators. I'm thinking add them, add them to your hats. Things like the, the little sprays and, you know, in a Kirby grip. They're, they've got that lovely... And you know what? If you're using mesh and you open them up into that tulip style and you want to pop, something inside, that would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Oh, beautiful. Like but a stem. I just think that colour is elegant. You put it with smoky greys or, or a camel pair of trousers and a winter white polo neck jumper and you put those sort of colours with mm. it and you just look elegant. Yeah, you, you do. Know, they just look classic, don't they? They are classic, aren't they? Mm. Are you ready for a fantastic price tag? £14.95 for three gorgeous strands, three different sizes. Let me give you the dimensions of everything. Have a look at your gorgeous gemstones. 20 carats in your moss agate ovals, those are 6x4. Your Botswana agate rounds, those are 8 mil, and you've got 160 carats. And then your rectangles of Brazilian agate, those are 20 by 12 and you've got 290 carats for £14.95. and pence. We're spoilers, aren't we? VJG C55. Right, Mrs. Mrs. Bulford, what are you thinking? I think that's fantastic. The price is really, really good. It is, isn't it? And you don't have to use them all together. You can use them in different projects. You can look at them and think, yes, OK, that will go with that in my stash and that will go with that in my stash. You don't have to use them all together, but they complement each other, I think. I agree with that. I think I'd put the moss agate with some pinks. Probably I'd do that with the um, with the grey as well. Well, all of them. They do all go together really nicely, they though, do. don't they? But then again, you see, you could put things like um, carnelian with it. Yeah. And it would look completely different. Put yeah. pyrite with it I to give it a sparkle. Pyrite. You could even put like an almost like a turquoisey colour with it. That yeah. sounds really awful. But with the grey and the turquoise going oh, nicely I love together. Turquoise and grey. Because really of the black lovely. veins in turquoise. We've got a turquoise bundle coming up and a pyrite bundle mm. later on. Do you know what? I've got... Oh, I love <gasps> this strand. They're beautiful. These would look nice, wouldn't they, with this strand. Look. Oh, that's pretty. Can you believe how beautiful these are? Really want those. Pearly in the middle or something. Oh, I love those. They're coming up for you later. You can't have them now. You can't have them yet. $14.95 is your price tag. Right, we're going now. So Deb is going to have this, and we are going to go 
and meet everybody who's come in on our experience. Now, if you want to get involved in our experience, give us a call 0800 644 655. We do lots of courses um, for you as well. I'm going to get, before we go to the experience, I'm going to give you a bundle. Which one should we do? Let's do a sneaky one. <laughs> Jack's bringing it to me now. Okay, so this is what everybody in the experience, which um, I've never done a Sunday experience before, and we've only just started doing them, haven't they? Thank you, my darling. Now, our Sunday experience, you can come in, you can jewellery make, we get interactive with you. And this is what everybody's got. Everybody's been um, given some gemstones to work with, so you're going to see everybody's fantastic design. Have a look. All these lovely pinks. I'm just going to take my black background away so you can see. Look at those colours. Aren't they gorgeous? Now, this is Jasper, but it's really sparkly. I actually thought it was calcipyrite because it's got really lovely sparkle to it. I actually, last night, was making up a kit with that in. With this? With that in. And I was sitting in sort of dusk sort of light, just with side lights on, and the sparkle, it looked like a pinky version of um, lapis lazuli. Yeah, well, calcipyrite's you know I mean? like that. It's that, you know, we get yeah. the green and the red with the, with the pyrite inclusions. Yeah. That's what I thought this was. It's beautiful. I really like that. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's mm. really, really lovely. Look at the sparkles coming from the faceted rounds. Love my pinks. I really do. I love a bit of pink. But you know what? You've got a strand here of all the blues and the reds and the pinks together and the greens. You can add some depth, you can make those colours pop out a little bit more. You can add an air of tranquility almost, I think. It's called Fruity Fabulous. 230 carats in that Jasper alone. 150 in your fasted rounds of their eight mil. Your ovals are 18 by 13. And your crackle quartz plain rounds at 8 mil as well. Now we're going to be inspired by everybody on the experience. MHG C53 is your item code. 0800 644655 is the number to be calling. Think about what you're going to be doing with these because I think with those fasted rounds, I love to see them cascading in earrings. I like to see fasted rounds as well in uh, Shambhala style. I think they look really good if they sparkle in Shambhala. I think these with the facet should have movement. I agree with that, yeah. Because yeah. you need let to the light sparkle. travel. Mm. Or put them in a ring where you're going to move your hands yeah. and they're going to, you know, something that's going mm. to move. Earrings, tassels, long lariat style necklaces, let the light go around to them. Shambhala style bracelets, opening up those gemstones as you move your hands around, they're catching the light. We're already going limited stock on this. We haven't even given you your price tag. On the website, you're going banana ramas for this. Let's give you a price though. 800 644 if you're shopping with us on the phone lines. Buzzing busy on the webulous. $12.95 for three gorgeous strands. And think about the fact that you've got such colour, such bright, bold colour. And they're fabulous with the facets. And honestly, Je Debbie and I both thought that these had um, these gorgeous jaspers had... Um, Pyrite within them, and actually, I think they're going to go really nicely with the strand that I've got. <gasps> Look at that! That's beautiful. What oh. is that? What is that? It's, it's coated. Is it coated pyrite? This one? Yeah. <gasps> Looks like platinum, doesn't it? Beautiful. 140 <gasps> carats of that little baby. Wow. Oh. We have got some. Uh, by the way, we have got some of the most amazing strands today. Don't forget that kunzai. Don't forget I've got a luxury kit for you. We have got that power shell that you just saw. We have got that pyrite, looks like platinum. We have got those pearls. That, that power shell is going under a tenner. Incredible. You think the power shell will go nicely with this? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't it amazing? Oh, Clay, all right, look at that, they're gorgeous. Oh, I love these. Do you know what I'd make? A mermaid's tail. 
be nice to do a butterfly or a dragonfly yeah. or something. I'd love it. I love them. I put these two together, make a wire work mermaid. Oh, I love them. I'm a bit obsessed with mermaids. I think we should challenge you to do that, you know, sometime. Well, I don't think I'm talented enough to make... I might... I might... I might yes. ask um, somebody oh, else, you might ask say. you to create no, the no, no, I no. think I could probably do it if I had a good, yeah. good yeah. evening at home, slippers on, movie. I might watch Splash whilst doing it. <laughs> that film. Oh, dear. Inspired by Splash. <laughs> I love that film. Daryl Hannah, isn't it? Yeah. And Tom Hanks. Good, isn't it? Yeah, you can't beat an 80s film, can you? These have gone limited. There is a very, very high risk of them selling out during the live show. Now, do not move a muscle because I'm so excited to meet all the fabulous, fabulous Sunday experiences. We'll be right back. Everybody from the Sunday experience is going to move around. Every, uh, I've been in already in lollipops <laughs> with, yeah. with them all this morning. What's your name? Look Alison. At, oh, yeah, and Alison. And Alison. Alison, what about the dragon? And this is Idris. Idris, <laughs> the Welsh dragon. How amazing. Did you do that by yourself? I did. How long did it take you? Uh, a while. <laughs> do you think you'd be able to do a wire work mermaid? Yeah. Brilliant. Wow. Right, brilliant. I'm going to bring that Not strand into to you in a minute. <laughs> How long will it take you? Do you do it now on demand? So yeah, today you go. <laughs> She's going to as well. Brilliant. I'm not sure what the head will look like. But... <laughs> I've got the most amazing strand of pal shell. I'm going to bring it into oh, you. Right. It's fabulous. So you're working with some turquoise yeah. tones. Is it one of your favourite gemstones, oh, turquoise? It. That with the copper or with the antique bronze is stunning. It's beautiful, Absolutely isn't stunning. it? What are you going to create? Um, probably a bangle. A bit yeah. of a bangle and a necklace. Neck piece. And a bangle. Some earrings. Did you do this? Uh, yeah, that was that was us playing last How night in the hotel. How did you do that? It's Viking knit. It's Can you see funny. that? I might put some something with that as well. Unbelievable what you can do with wire, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's fabulous. I love wire, as you can tell. I, well, you're <laughs> amazing at love it. Wire. This Thank is you. just fantastic. <laughs> It's amazing. It's lovely to meet you. Right, I'm going to move, yep. going to move around. I could stay here all day, <laughs> especially as I can see all those lovely brownies. <laughs> Who's, who baked the brownies? I did. <laughs> Excellent. Right, I should be sampling those purely to give you marks out of ten, of course. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I might need three right. just to really get a feel for them, you know? That might not be enough <laughs> for everyone. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Sarah. Yeah. And how long have you been jewellery making for, Sarah? Uh, almost ten years. Really? Yeah. Have you got? Do you sell your jewellery on? Um, I have a few friends that I buy pieces off me, but really don't make a profit. But no, I just you do it make... for the pure love. Yeah. But I do sell a bit. Not, not much. Did you do this? Um, yes, I did do the. Cuff. It's amazing. Look at this crochet cuff. Mm. Another example of what you can do with wire work. It's just incredible. Yeah. How long have you been crocheting for? Um, this is knitted on the beading thread. Um, they sell really well. A lot of friends really like them, and I've been doing the knitted work for about four or five years. Have you? Yeah. Because it's quite a new concept to me, um, crocheting and knitting with wire, but it's been something you've been doing for a I've long time. I've been doing it for quite a while, yeah. It's brilliant. So, it's amazing. It's lovely it's great to me. when you do a bridal piece in white uh, and silver. Yeah. On a neckline and a, a choker. And Lovely it's stunning. pearls on there. Absolutely stunning. Oh, oh. Yeah. I like the so sound of that. Very unusual. Yeah, yeah. So thanks for all your inspiration. Now yeah. we're going to move across to Catherine. Good morning, Hi, my Jen. lover. Hiya. Hiya. Love all your purple. Thank you. Favourite colour? I can see there's a theme <laughs> going on. You've yeah. got some mesh, have you, on yeah. your necklace? And did you do that as well? Wire work. So this is gizmo work. So if you bought the gizmo set this morning as our early bird, this is what you can create. Isn't that just fab? Use it to make the, just use the gizmo to make the circle and then bead it inside. But it just makes it look so neat, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it, it does make it look just, it's far neater than you'd ever manage to get freehand at all. Do you find it easier? Easy it's, gizmo? Yeah, definitely. It is just winding. Yeah, it, it is literally just move your hand. <laughs> You've got to get that early bird. We had an early bird.
I don't know if you saw, two DVDs, a gizmo and a jig for eight ninety five. Oh, Unbelievable. Really yeah. Um, I've got to say hello to my kids or they'll shout at me. Quick, do it. Hi, William. Hi, Danielle and Mum and Dad. Thank you for having them. Hi, William and Daniel. How old are they? Danielle. Danielle. Yeah. There's William's five and Danielle's twelve. Oh, oh, twelve year old. I year know. seven. Eight. Year eight. Mm. Oh, yeah. not looking forward to that. <laughs> no. I bet she's lovely, though. Yeah, she is most of the time. She's a good girl, so. really. <laughs> oh, William and Danielle. Have a lovely day. Mum is all right. She's stuffing her face with brownies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, we know Linda. Yeah. We know, how are you today, my darling? I'm really absolutely oh, enthralled at watching these ladies work. It's brilliant to watch, to it, be honest. And, I mean, it really is inspiring. It really is inspiring. You've just had a nice holiday. Yeah, You've I've been away. A... We haven't seen you for ages. Nope. I've got to give you my mic because apparently yours. Oh, is this? Oh, it's oh, all right. It's yeah. all right. Yeah. <laughs> so what can we expect from today? I think we're going to expect some incredible pieces of jewelry. It's also diverse as well, which is fantastic for me to watch. Um, and learn from, to be truthful. Everybody's picked really yeah. different colours. Yeah, they have. Lots of wire <laughs> going on with Alison. <laughs> Alison's surrounded by wire. <laughs> Sarah is too. <laughs> Catherine's working with some lovely colours, pearls as well. Beautiful earrings you've made. Thank Gorgeous. You. I'm going to make my way around. Can Which way shall I go? Oh, you can come Thank through you, there. my darling. Sorry, get you up out of this chair. That's all right. Wake me up. Good morning, Anna. Good morning. It's lovely to meet you. I have been in this morning having breakfast with everyone. It was a really healthy breakfast I had, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, Deb is in there with a with a pot full of pineapple and oranges, and I'm there with lollipops in my mouth <laughs> this morning. So, Anna, how long have you been jewelry making for? Uh, about two years now. Have you? So not that not that long. No. What got you jewelry making? Um. I don't know really. I was just off work and found the channel, so I was like, "Ooh, that's good." So you've never jewelry made no. before you came across us. No. And then you got addicted. What was the first thing you bought? I can't remember. I think I bought the jewelry kit and just a few gems and just mucked about. And then it's taken over my house now, and my husband <laughs> just wants me to give it up. I think. <laughs> Right, well, I'm sorry, husband of Anna. <laughs> She's You'll have to have the shed. <laughs> All right? <laughs> there's worse, there's much worse hobbies a girl can well, have. Yeah. <laughs> there is, and really, you can make a business out of this. Do you sell your jewellery on, or is it purely um, for the love of yeah, the gems? Yeah, sometimes I do. A lot of um, people kind of, they say, oh, well, she won't take it off now. And I was like, but that's the point. <laughs> Exactly. When when somebody's got something they love and they don't want to take it off. I love the colours you're working with. You've already made a stretchy yeah. and a pair of earrings this morning. Straight away. They've got jewellery making straight away. Have a look at that. That's gorgeous. What lovely colours. Now, these are holiday colours, aren't they? Yeah, it's a bit big for you, though. Sorry about that. Oh no, I quite like them dangly though, you know. Yeah. I like them when they fall like that. It's just so wearable, isn't it? Yeah. Scratchy. Were you wearing these kinds of colours on the beach, Mrs. How jealous are we? <laughs> look at that tan. <laughs> look at it. How dare you look so healthy and glowy. I'm Boys. sure you're going to knock it out of me soon. Yeah, so. it won't take me five minutes to knock that out. <laughs> With my pure jealousy. <laughs> well, you look fab. You're radiant. Thank you, Anna. Okay. Lovely to meet you. Okay. Now, Wendy yes, bought me some lollies this morning. Look at this. Other lollies are available. <laughs> So you're working again with wire as well. Do you've you've yeah. made your own links out of do you do that with your round nose or with a jig? No, with the round nose pliers. With the round yeah, nose pliers. Right down the base of the round nose pliers. I'm gonna show you that. And what are you gonna use them as? I don't know, probably connectors in something. So I don't know yet. I'm just gonna get straight Look at on what with you're this. What are you doing? Okay. How are you doing that? Just threading it through the chain. Oh just my gosh, look at what you've made these roses out of wire. Yeah, I pre-made those as well at home. Oh my word, can you see those? They're fab. So you're creating a bracelet now, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I am. Isn't it beautiful? It's getting there. <laughs> really lovely colour. It's almost Tudor. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Real I'm vintage. Try and dangle some of these off if they go as well, off these bits. So when you come on the Sunday experience, all of the gemstones, everything you're using, we've supplied for you. Yeah, absolutely. And what made you choose the gemstones that you've got? The garnet and the pearls, because I do like garnet and pearls together, but I've merely used them up, so I won't be doing that. <laughs> I love garnet and pearls together too. They're gorgeous. Now, we're going to keep coming back to you. Um, I'm sure I'll be able to hear you.
I, I was doing my makeup in the makeup room earlier, and I could hear all this. And I thought, yes, they're in. In I go. But have fun, girls. You keep keep jewelry making. We're going to come back to you a little bit later. And I'm going to go back into the other studio. We'll see you in a tickle. <laughs> the wind it's a different studio and I'm in heels I left my slippers in there this morning I came in in my big big coat and slippers and, and no makeup on it wasn't a pretty sight at all now are we gonna do that fabulous kit or oh, what I love it can I just give you and before we do that I just need to show the kunzite we've got coming up later on probably the most incredible strand well it's the best strand of kunzite we've ever had from our Gems of Distinction collection. I want you to go and Google how much it would set you back for a Kunzite ring. Think about some of the biggest designers out there using Kunzite. Oh, I'm out of breath, Debbie. I can't believe they do that to me at half past nine in the morning. Oof. I feel like Annika Rice. I always wanted one of those jumpsuits. Did you? Yeah, I love one. No, I should have. Like a jumpsuit. Mm. That's what I, I might. With jewellery maker written on it. That's what's going to happen next time I'm here on the Sunday sofa. <laughs> oh dear. This kunzite is just simply breathtaking. And honestly, to have kunzite with such excellent clarity and colour, I love the style of these and the fact that you've got all those different sizes. Just fabulous. Oh, they're beautiful. Claire would like me to try it with the coated pyrite. Oh, so gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Now, I've also got the most amazing pearls for you. I'd actually put the kunzite and the pearls together, you know? Look at that. These pearls are our biggest freshwater pearls. <gasps> Look at that together. Very Jacqueline Onassis. And actually, Jackie Onassis had a kunzite ring that was bought to her by JFK. Oh, really? Yeah. Gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Now, we are going to launch a brand new kit. I love my warm colours. And actually, Debbie, when I look at this kit, these colours remind me of you because you wear a lot of these earthy tones as well. I don't do, you? I do. Um, I, I just love that sort of colour. Probably because of my hair colour, I don't know. But I think it. it, it I mean, my mum's got grey hair and it looks lovely on her. She wears a lot of steel grey with the sort of orangey tangerine tones. Mm. They, they look really nice. They really do. I love the warmth of them. Mm. And I love that they feel radical together. But actually, when you take each one individually, like look at this burnt orange strand, and think about what else you can put with it because it looks fabulous with turquoise. Look at that. I love these rounds. They're really juicy aren't they Botswana agate and I love rondelles there's a lot you can do with a rondelle now, now just note the fact that everything I'm showing you right now all different shapes and sizes which means they're gonna be mega stash builders oh by the way by the way not just three strands four fabulous strands this is a treat. It's, tr it's good to work on a Sunday. I love it. We've had lollipops. We've had chocolates. We've had home-baked brownies. Well, we haven't, but we will have those in a bit. Now, you have got your beading thread, your elastic, your monofilament with this kit. Here we go. And you get 100 findings. Let me talk you through the dimensions. Here's the findings that you get. You've got a metre of chain round. That's nine carat gold on e-coated copper. You've got three pairs of shepherd's hooks. You've got 15 head pins, 15 crimp beads, 10 of your jump rings on a seven mil, and those are closed jump rings. 10 of your plain beads, four mil. That metre of chain, which goes such a long way, it really does. You've got your eye pins, you've got 10 of those, a pair of chandeliers, you've got 20 crimp beads, 
So you've got, oh yeah, crimpy covers I was mentioning before. You've got your heart toggle clasp, your plain toggle clasp, and your bolt ring clasp and jump ring. Now let me talk you through the dimensions of the gemstones. Look at them all together. They're fabulous. Look at this texture. Oh, they're nice all together, these, aren't they? Yeah. Fabulous. Look at the size of those big, juicy rounds. Mm. With all of that wire. No, um, with the, um, is it the early bird? The three strand, the challenge. The Big challenge. The challenge. Don't do that. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, the challenge. You're usually always right. Now, <laughs> <laughs> have I got the dimensions of the gemstones, Clary Wary? Look at these with the shell. Love that power shell. Oh, oh. Ooh, I love those. Just love them. Right, now your Botswana Agate Rondells are 8 by 5 Your Puffy Coins are 12 mil. 12 by 18 on the rectangles. And your Fasted Rounds of Orange Agate are 16 mil. So those are huge. DJG C36 is the code that you need. Are you ready for a fantastic deal? Get yourself on the phone lines 0800 644 655. Or the double years jewelrymaker.com you've got a 30-day money-back guarantee with everything that you buy from us here at jewelry maker and you know what if you're shopping with us for the very first time a free tutorial dvd a free jm hub magazine on a monthly subscription and a free step-by-step -step book are you ready for your price tag don't forget your day money back guarantee four gorgeous strands 100 findings your monofilament your elastic and your beading thread all for 24 pounds <laughs> and 95 pence it's called citrus burst and let's get over to our deborah and have a look at all of the fabulous jewelry that she has made to inspire you don't forget that we do repeat the show um, on youtube if you want to have a look at debbie's designs but we will also put everything onto facebook and debbie has made some very juicy pieces <gasps> This is my favourite, I think. Pretty, isn't it? Yeah, gorgeous. It's lovely. I, I didn't realise you could make those flowers out of the rondelles, isn't that Yeah, gorgeous? we normally think about just the rounds, don't we, or petals. Mm. But they do look really pretty, actually, like they that. They look like daisies. Look, yeah, they do, actually, because they, the, the rondelles go into individual petals, don't they? Oh, yeah, I love mm. those colours. Let's have a look. And that's a really gem-heavy, juicy one, but that's lovely. This is the lovely juicy on. One. That looks stunning on. I really like that one. That's this really is the one we're talking about with the daisies here. Look at that. I love that. I think that's so pretty. Cute. I'd it? wear that in the summertime. Mm. Maxi dress. Yeah. Vest top, white vest top, pair of jeans, that over the top. Yeah, really Look pretty. Look gorgeous, wouldn't Really it? pretty. Very bohemian, actually. Yeah, I like that I sort like of that. thing. Matching yeah. bracelet. Love that. Now, I would always put gold with the carnelian and the agate, mm. with the reds. I think it really warms it up. It makes it really rich, doesn't it? It yeah. looks lovely. Mm. Really, really lovely. And they move beautifully. They're not too heavy, actually, because I tried that on. I thought, was oh, it too heavy? But no, it's not. It's, it just fits really nicely. I, I love that. that sparkle, Debbie. I love mm. it. Earrings are fab, especially with the gold chain. Those are nice everyday earrings, they though, are, aren't they? Yes. And good old stretchy. Can't be a stretchy. Love you the little can't. jump rings that you've put either side of the feature gemstone as well. Now, have a look. Is this a shepherd's hook you've yes. made into? A fastening. And you've done it on a rosary style chain. There. And really simple, this. but it's lovely. It is, but it's very effective. It and is. again, you know, actually, sometimes you just want that simple okay, jewellery on, do. don't That's you? That's right. Have a look. Because I love what you've done here. Now you've attached with eye pins. You made your own eye pins, or did you use an eye pin? I pin at the, at the kit. Yes. Isn't it fab? Now you're going to show us a technique. Which one are you going to show us? A little us? flower. But I know you've seen this lots and lots of times before. But it's how to attach it to the chain to make it look part of the design. Um, I love that. Because it's okay making all the individual little um, units, but then you've got to be able to make it look as though it's part of your design. So a really simple way of attaching it. So, here we go. You have got one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, it's in, important to have six, not five. In na Mother Nature usually puts odd numbers. Really? Yeah, petals usually odd numbers.
But you're going but six I'm because... I'm going to go six because then you've got a top and a bottom bead. If you do five, can I show you this one at the bottom? This one here at the bottom has got five. If I wanted to attach that to a chain, you'd have to go in between the two bottom petals and then do something through the bottom one because okay. there isn't... It would hang... Uh, not symmetric, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. You have three yeah. on one side, two on the other. So that's why I've put three petals on one side and three on the other. And this one I've put a, a pin and the gold bead and then the pin on the other end. I'm going to show you a different way of doing it. So, start off with six beads on a piece of beading thread or monofilament, depending what you want to use. Both are in the kit. Just tie a knot. Easy peasy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Really tie a knot. And then thread on your... Um, gold bead. Gold bead. And here, you're at the bottom of your six beads. Oh, Debbie, this okay. could not be any easier. I know, ever so simple. The bottom of your six beads, and you want to go across the middle with your thread, so yeah. that will sit in the middle, and then push your thread through one of the bottom beads, and then the bead will sit in the middle, all right? But then you've got to get your thread around to the other piece of thread, because you've got to then tie a knot. You've got to secure it somewhere. Or you can just go round and round and round until you can't get any thread through. Um, but just for quickness on, on air, I'm going to just tie a quick knot, OK? And then trim. Then, how do I attach that to my necklace? Now I've got my lovely little design. How do I attach that to my necklace? To make it look very neat and tidy, what I do is, there is my bead. Oh, A up. OK, there's my bead with the thread going across. Yeah. And through the top and the bottom bead, I put a, um, an eye pin, a head pin, sorry. One going one way and one going the other. So in opposite directions. Yep. And the holes, are you don't need to force them, they're no. going quite easily. Ever so easy, ever so easy. So now you've got your design like that. Oh. All right? Yeah. Pull them around the top of the bead oh. and with your flat nose pliers, just kink, kink it. OK? And do the same on the other side. They're ever so soft, so you can Ooh. do it with your fingers. And they're not tarnishing or anything, those, no, are they? No, they're fine. And then cut off just under a centimetre off the top. Take your round nose pliers and make... Whoops. And make a loop. Ooh. Like that. All right? I see, yeah. If you do the same on the other side. I can't believe how easy this is. Ever so simple. I just didn't want to just thread a thread through the end of the bead. And I thought, how can that look like it's connected? So there you've got your connector. Yeah. And then you just connect it to your chain. See that there? I do, yeah. So it looks part of the design. So your chain then has got a loop to attach to. Perfect. Just really neat. It's nice to do. You can make a bracelet of these then if you wanted to, couldn't you? Yeah, you could. Uh, you could put them in earrings as well, actually. Yeah, of course you could. You can just put one link on one side. Everybody wants to have a little look. Oh, right. They're so pretty. How pretty is that? It's gorgeous, isn't it? The extra gold looks lovely, actually, with the little little ball of the head pin. Yeah, it does. You've got elements of... You can see there the balls from the head pin and then in the centre as well. Do you know, really I can't pretty. believe how easy that was. I mean, simple. I could do that now, I could... Easy. Yeah, Nothing simple, really simple. to have to remember too much, is nope. there? Nope. Nothing That's fantastic. Have a look at <gasps> this. Oh, I say. Oh, I yes. love that. What is that? It's carnelian. <gasps> oh. Oh. Ooh. Look at that colour. It would go so beautifully Ooh. with this kit. Tiaras and fascinators. These would look pretty in your beautiful. hair, Debbie, these yeah. would. I love that colour. Summer bridesmaids. Look at that colour. It's a real celebration of colour, mm. isn't it? And if you're doing your colour blocking pieces, I actually think, you know that really deep appetite we've got, the deep blue appetite, that'd look stunning with this. It would actually, you're quite right, yeah. Or kyanite. Oh, I love these facets. This is a strand from the Gems of Distinction Collection in its brand spanking new. They're very slightly graduated and they come in pairs. Beautiful. I'd make earrings out of these yeah, straight away. Absolutely, I would as well. Gold wire as well I'd mm, put with this. Beautiful. Maybe some antique bronze. I oh, definitely I want to see these in a hair comb. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. 
I love the little gizmo coils that um, the Gems of Distinction range put these they on. They would look lovely, almost like a little rosebud with the little green petals, like in my challenge. Oh, yes. You know, to have a little rosebud with have little petals. Oh, gorgeous. Make little buds and then little petals next door with these in my challenge. Wouldn't they look pretty? Oh, I like, like that leaves. together. You, you could be some... really, really generous with the green jasper, couldn't you? And just put one or two. Yeah, really pretty. Be very pretty. Like a little charm bracelet with lots of little rosebuds on it. Oh, yeah. Love the fa oh, let's give you a price tag. Love the facets. I think you could make a pair of earrings out of this. I think you could make a lovely cluster out of these as Ooh, well. Yes, that looks nice. Cluster ring on some gold wire. You've got 65 carats. And don't forget that I bring you this strand from the Gems of Distinction collection, which means every single gemstone has been colour matched. Every single gemstone has been cut with such expert precision for you. I can't wait to see your Wall of Fame entries with all these gorgeous gemstones oh, on. Yeah. Are you ready? VCS F70 is the code that you need. Check out baskets if you're popping these into your baskets on the website. You've got a 30 day money back guarantee. It's a brand new I've never seen before. £16.95 for this beautiful carnelian. It's all about the faceting. You could get Look your money back just with one pair of earrings, couldn't you, really? And then some, I reckon. Mm. And they beautiful. all come in pairs. Very nice. What about making a hair vine out of these on some green <gasps> wire? Oh, stunning. That'd be beautiful. Or black wire would be nice with these. Would actually, yeah, you could mix black with that. Yes, you could. Very that. stunning. Very dramatic. Absolutely Lovely. beautiful. £16.95. pence. Now I've got another strand to give to you. Oh, I that saw would these go the other so day. So well with They're the kit. They're so pretty. Well, I think this is a perfect. Yeah, with these flowers, I actually yes. think they look quite nice interspersed yeah, with the design I do as well. that you've done. I do. So you've got that flat flower and then you've got the three-dimensional yeah, flower. They're beautiful. They sit really nicely against the skin actually and you've got the grooves in there. So if you do want to hold on to them with some wire, you can. Love the fact that you've got some real, really nice sort of stone colours in here, mm. sort of hessian colours in there. They'd look stunning there. with some mukite or something, wouldn't they? Yeah, they would actually. You can see there's very mukite esque tones mm. if you like and look with the patterns if, you, if you've got little gorgeous. girls you can you can make individual phone charms or bag charms you know you can make money out of that sort of strand because you can split it up and use one individual one phone charms are so popular oh, everybody's got them do you know my next door neighbor came round last night i got home and the neighbors were all around and uh, Mia was there, the party with the neighbours at half past nine. I was, what's going on? Anyway, my neighbour Uli has got a phone cover with ears and a tail. <laughs> and it's a big furry tail. It's brilliant. When someone rings her, she's just got this oh, big furry dear. tail cover. And my son's got, hasn't got the on his phone, but they all take memory sticks into school now yeah. because that's how they do their homework. Yeah, yeah. And, and, they're they're next, they, they yeah. Put them and they've all thing. got charms and things on their footballs yeah. and skulls and all sorts of things. But otherwise so, you'd you know, lose them. They'd I lose know. them, wouldn't they? And they can seat theirs as well. These would be great for memory stick charms, handbag charms, phone charms. I'm really into accessorising phones now. That really tickled yeah. me last night. I thought she was nuts. So I thought that's a good <laughs> idea. And it's a bit of fun, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely, absolutely. Have a look at these. They're going on the website already. I'm now surprised. these are backed by popular demand. They go so nicely with the kit. YWP 061. You're putting these into baskets on the website. Let's give you a price tag. Seven oh, ninety-five. That is, I'd buy two or three actually because I think that's really good value strand actually. They always sell very yeah. easily. In the summer, you, these will just walk out, won't they? I'd do a lariat style daisy chain necklace with these. That'd be nice. That'd Let be me nice. count them for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one is what I've got. That's roughly what you're going to get as well. For less than forty p a flower. It's a really good deal, isn't it? Genuine Jasper, they're 15 millimetres. Think about wire wrapping, think about tiaras and fascinators. Think about daisy chain, lariats on, um, earrings with these. Absolutely, you could do earrings with these. All 
for just seven pounds and ninety-five pence. Now, don't forget, if you are shopping with us for the first time today, we're going to give you not just the strand or the kit that you've bought. Don't forget our early bird. It's very, very limited. You get the jig, the two DVDs, and and the um, gizmo all for eight ninety-five, which is crazy. Um, now, you get with your first order. So it doesn't matter what you've ordered, you will get a free step-by-step -step DVD. You will also get a Get Started book. You will get on subscription. Is this this month's? Oh, I haven't yes, seen that is. one. I haven't seen it either. Your jewellery maker, JM Hub magazine. I think we should do horoscopes in these. I always go to the I back do. for the horoscopes and then <laughs> forget that there aren't any. Uh, I think I'll we should do, do, we'll do them. We'll do them Gemstones, together. Yeah, yeah let's. Oh, oh look. I'll have to look through here. Lovely Eleanor. I love Eleanor. Oh, she's Hannah. lovely. I wonder if she's had a baby yet. Oh, I wonder if she's had that mm. bubba yet. Mm. I don't know. We'd have heard about it. Of course we would have. Last week, isn't it? Next week. Next, Next week, week she's going to have it. Mm. Oh, look. Our team on there. Oh, I love Eleanor. She's such a lovely girl. Anyway, you have a read of that. You'll have a read of that. I'll have a read of that. Yeah, you have a read of that, read Right, now for seven ninety-five, you've got a gorgeous strand. I'm going to go back over to um, to my little... Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going... Where are we going? I am going back over. Don't confuse me, Mr Fulcher. <laughs> He's like, no, no, you're not. Yeah, I am. Come on over with me. Come on. Now, I've got a bit of a... Get out the way, Jack. Lovely. I've got a bit of a bundle. <laughs> because I haven't tucked myself in properly, have I? Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I'm all hanging out. Now, I've got a macrame bundle for you, and I've also got some eye pins for you. So we're going to give you... Oh, we're, gonna, we're not going to do this now, no? OK. I'm going to, I don't know, tither and hither. Have a look. I've got to show you these again. I love them. We have got a kit coming up for you later on that is such incredible luxury labyrinth, right? You're definitely not going to want to miss out on that one. Look at those. Now, also remember, we have got the biggest pearls ever. They're beautiful together, aren't they? Now, it's all about the kunzite. It's all about the kunzite, isn't it? It's all about the kunzite. The first time we've ever given you Kunzite of this quality. Unbelievably beautiful, sensational clarity. I've never seen Kunzite with clarity here at Jewelry Maker. We don't get it. We're lucky enough to have one of the most incredible strands coming up for you later on. Don't forget, also, got, oh my gosh, we've got so much. We've got the pyrite, we've got some citrine from the Gems of Distinction collection. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Where's the moo kite? I've got, oh yes, I've got moo kite too. That's a lovely new strand. What are these? Six mil? They're beautiful. They're really beautiful. Eight mil, they're gorgeous. Have a look. The price tag on your screen is for the Jasper flowers and they're flying out. Now I've got a macrame bundle to bring you. I've got an eye pins bundle to bring you. Don't move a muscle because we are going to look at your designs on the Wall of Fame. Number 752. How gorgeous is this from Amanda in Hastings? And she says, This is my second piece of jewelry. I've been no, whatever. A ladder, we it, that's brilliant. I've been making jewelry for only a day. What? I'm totally hooked on my new hobby. I have made this from findings and rose quartz gemstones from my um, from JM for my niece who is horse mad. My daughter would love this. Well, I love it. I'm horse mad. The charm is from my stash. I hope this is good enough for the Wall of Fame and words cannot express how proud I was when this was completed and how easy it was to make following your excellent tutorial DVDs. Love the show and cannot wait to move on to Wire, which I've now bought. Keep up the excellent work. The presenters are so engaging and the live demonstrations are totally inspiring. 
hiring. Thank you so, so much, Amanda. I, I can see the, the Tom's going to look at the horse, Jenny. Look, at, I know, I love it. Mia would go, my daughter would go crazy for this. I love it, number 752. Amanda, mwah, love it. Well done, keep up the I good work. I think she likes it, don't you? Uh, this is number um, seven, oh, I can't read it, 749. This is from Alistair in London. Uh, this is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Um, I made it for Ooh. picture Jasper Cubes and Puffy Ovals from Six Strand JMB box. Uh, tiny black agate rondelles, all from JM and handmade clasp. I made it a while ago, but I haven't made anything new for a while, so I thought I'd send this in. It's my favourite necklace and I wear it very often. Fingers crossed for a win this week from Alistair in London. That's gorgeous. I really like the round bed. Just yeah, to... it just pulls your uh, eye yeah. down, doesn't it? It's lovely. And I love the fastening as well. I think it's very tribal, actually. It is, yeah. It's gorgeous. Very, very nice. Now look at this, you're going to love this. Oh, do you want enamel? Love yes. it. Isn't that fab? And they've used the, that, what the, is it? The, the gleam. Yeah, the, the gold gleam. Love it. Number 751. This is fabulous. It's from Kim in the Orkney Isles. And she says, hi, everyone. Please find attached my first attempt at jewel. Come on. Trumps are coming out. Trumps. Uh, at Jewelry Now, pendants, earrings and a heart ring. Loving this new media of jewellery making and thought Liz and Vicky were fab on the DVD. Warm regards from Kim Taylor in the Orkney Isles. Kim, gorgeous, you're number 751. I think it's fab, that jewel enamel. It's great, isn't it? Right, Mrs, what have you got? Uh, this is from Jill um, Shortstown. Uh, where is it? Is that where she lives? Or Jill that Doyle from Shortstown. Shortstown. Thank you, Bob. Um, this is my entry for this week's Wall Fame. It's made using emerald and pyrite and silver star toggle clasp Ooh. and toggle all from JM. Oh, yeah. um, Sarah Elvin commented on my post and this is what I made for her. She did something called um, Pay It, which was something on, the, on her website where if five people posted, you made it something for them and it, it, went, it sort of rolled. Really? Uh, so, yes, this was made for Sarah. It's lovely, isn't it? Isn't it beautiful? That's lovely, Jill. Really I nice. Love You're number oh, 748. Yeah, isn't it? Oh, I love it. She's done a little poem on there as well. Yeah. Birdstone oh. poem. Oh, isn't that so gorgeous? Cute. That is really special. Oh, I bet she was chuffed with that. I bet she was. Very nice. Oh, yeah. 750. Number 750 is a real monochrome piece. Mm. Love it. From Helen in four marks. Don't know where that is. No. Here's my entry to the Wall of Fame for this week. It's made with gorgeous crackle quartz beads and some polymer clay from my mum. It was my first attempt at using polymer clay. Really? She got the DVD in a bundle in January and hoping inspiration will be plentiful. I usually use wire and gems, but hopefully some of Debbie's skill will come my way. Keep up the fun. You know what? You should come on one of Debbie's workshops. Yes, She's fab. When's Thank the next you. polymer clay? Um, there's a polymer clay workshop on the 11th at Millie Fury for the um, flowers and leaves and that sort of thing. There are a couple of spaces on there. And also there's a beginners, well, beginners, you just learn the basics really on the Wednesday on the 13th. Get yourself booked in, Helen. You'll love it. We'll feed you. There's sweets. What more could you want? Everything. Now we're going to give you some information, in fact, on that very course. And then I'll be right back with a little, more, a little bit more madness. Join guest designer Debbie Bolford as she guides you through numerous techniques for creating flowers and leaves, from simple daisy canes to elaborate floral pieces. If you're looking to create unique handmade jewellery, then this is the course for you. The full course includes black and white clay, a colour clay pack of your choice, use of all tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, and all for just $67.95. For details on course dates and availability, contact our call centre now on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. If for any reason you're not satisfied, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. New to Polymer Clay? Then why not come and join us on our Polymer Clay for Beginners course? Join guest designer Debbie Bulford as she guides you through the basic techniques of creating bead shapes, basic canes, pendants, feature beads and much more. You will get the chance to design and craft your own pieces which you can then take home. 
During the course of the day, you will get to have a backstage tour of the studios, meet the presenters and have a trip to our jewellery shop. The full course includes black and white clay, a colour clay pack of your choice, use of all tools, buffet style lunch and refreshments, all for just $64.95. For details of course dates and availability, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Welcome back to the Sunday Experience show. I've got the most incredible strand of Amazonite coming up for you a little bit later on. Love this colour. Well, it's very, very near future. It's coming up for you, in fact. 250 carats, pure gorgeousness in that colour. I'd like to see this with some pearls. Very vintage. You see, I put it with the coat of highlight and those... Uh, shell diddly leaves. Shell diddlies. Shell diddlies. The shell diddlies. I'd Let's put it that. with the shell diddlers. Oh. oh! I think that's stunning. Mermaid's treasure, I'd call <gasps> that. Oh, I love it. Oh, Debbie. Beautiful, it's gorgeous. Isn't it? Yeah, it really is. We've got so much excitement coming up for you in today's show. Now, my dears and my darlings, I'm going to give to you <laughs> Mark's Macram ATV Day, which was back in before Christmas. We launched it, sold out. Back in. For the first time since then, the first batch, and they are, we really only have a few left of these. We've got less than 100, so if you want it, be as quick as you can. Is it coming with the wire? We're going to give you the wire width as well. 0.6 wire, perfect for macrame, perfect for making your earring findings with as well. Let's show you that some examples. Whoops, days in pots. Whoops. <laughs> Some wire. Now, this is using 0.4 wire. You can use 0.6. Have a look. So, this is the sort of thing you can get. Isn't that beautiful? It kind of goes with my ring, doesn't it? I say it's my ring. Joe made it last night. I promised I'd, I'd bring it back, and I did. Have a look. Isn't it fab? She made some really great stuff, Joe did yesterday. 100 metres of wire. Now, it's not just macrame that you can use. In fact, Jo made, last night, she had one piece of um, 0.6 wire going through the centre and everything else she used out of beading thread. So she had that sturdiness. Now, that's $15.95 at its lowest ever price tag on its own. It's been seen at $19.95. The DVD is $4.95, so you've got about £20 worth right here. But today we're going to give you a bundle price tag, TGG C24. If you love Mark's macrame, you're going to get uninterrupted Marky Smith time. Stop and start that DVD. He's a very, very talented jewellery designer. And you get the wire with. Are you ready for a wonderful, wonderful price tag? Think about the way that Shambhala style bracelets have really taken over jewellery fashion. Think about a, a lot of different age ranges wearing macrame Shambhala style bracelets. Men and women alike wearing these Shambhala style bracelets. And you know, Mark said to me, and he says to me every time, I would never charge any less than £15 for a very basic Shambhala bracelet. So maybe a profit maker for you too. So if you were to buy this together, you'd be paying the best part of £20. But today we're going to do it for under £15, £14.95, over a £5 saving for you there. So basically, how much is this wire on its own? £15.95. And its lowest ever price tag is £15.95 for the wire. So you're getting it for less than the lowest ever price tag and a DVD? This is craziness. That's my confused face. You see it often, I'm sure. 1495 It is so luscious to have your company today here at Jewelry Maker. Now let's do the Amazonite going really beautifully with that white. Oh, I love that. Yeah, definitely macrame with this. I go shambalatastic, that's what I do. 
Now, Debbie gave us a fabulous suggestion. Put it right. Oh, I do love that. It's a nice bundle, that is, Deb. We should do a bit of bundle making together. Yeah, we should. We should, we should. Now, I'm actually curious, Deb, so let's have a look at this. Because I quite like the orange. Oh, yeah, I love that. Look at that. Mm-hmm. There's a colour blocking theme going on there. Very what, sorry? You think that's quite Kath Kidson, do you? Yes, it is, isn't it? We, I've been looking at schools and, um, you know, d uh, noticing that all the girls now at school have got their Kath Kidson bags. Ooh. Mia's got a couple of them. I, you know, I, I do love that sort of country classic design. They, it is very Kath Kidson, isn't it? Have a look at this. Oh, I really like that together. Makes me happy. Now, what else would we put with this strand? Well, I definitely thought the pearls would look good. What about the big pearls? And I'm quite funny about what I mix my pearls with. I think there's a very 50s feel when you put the pearls together. I think, actually, this colour can be quite 50s. What about putting some mustards with it? Let's see. Where's my moo kite? Let me see. I'm not sure. I'm just picking out that mustard tone, because I think the mustards go really nicely. What about the citrine? Yeah, that's so pretty. I've also got some... Oh, look! Yeah, I really like that. See, this, this strand goes with lots. I really like Debbie's idea, though, of this combination. How fab is that? Now, that's very glamorous, isn't it? Really glamorous. Let's give you your price tag. There's lots of you on the phone waiting for it. XUGP19 is your item code. For a gemstone that's going to look beautiful with a bit of rose quartz, I think, won't it? It's brand new in, never seen before, and going low at 6 95 This is Amazon. I love this colour. I love about this colour. Definitely a summer must-have. This is such a summer colour, isn't it? It is, and it's going to be really on trend. Really on trend with the colours that are coming in. Mm. It looks stunning. Because you can do quite a few different things to this. Like we saw, if you want to add the rich colours, do some colour blocking, of course. But if you want to soften it up, you can do that too. You know? You see how it works? So very, very versatile. Jenny, can I ask you, what's the one right? I was just about to say that. What's that on the end? Is that pink? Yeah, bright that. pink. That's what I'm thinking next. Keep on that colour block. What do you reckon? Mm, I don't know. You've got something next to the pink that's like a yellowy, orange... Okay. Mm. You think this as well? I don't know. Now, I really away, like mustard. That's I like. That, that with the pyrite. That's very 50s. It. Yeah. Let's lift it with that pyrite. Very 50s. Where's, what have I done with that pyrite strand? It's with the leaves, isn't it? Do you put it back with the leaves? There it is. Okay. Yeah. See, that, to me, that is nice. That is nice, it isn't it? It lifts it a little bit, yeah. It reminds me, I said this last night, these kinds of colours, have you ever seen Edward Scissorhands? Yeah. With those 50s, Avon calling! <laughs> that lady that wears, yeah, I love it. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> I was saying last night, it's wrong, isn't it? Because I fancied him in that film. They were all saying it was wrong. I don't think there's anything wrong with fancying Johnny Depp at any time. Have a look, even when he's <laughs> Edward Scissorhands. Six pounds and 95 pence for 250 carats. These are 10 mil playing rounds. Now, I'm going to give to you a head pin bundle. So are these the same length or are they two different lengths? Let's see. Now, they're the, the same length, they're solid sterling silver. So, if I got two packs here, so I've got 40, what kind of a cheeky deal are you going to do? Now, you can link eye pins together. I'm a big fan of rosary style chain. I really like 
rosary style chains and you can do that with the eye pins now eye pins are an essential you're always going to use them you know sometimes when you see something a brilliant price tag even you know not just a jewelry maker you're in town you see something you think wow that's an absolute bargain would you necessarily use it would you well eye pins as a jewelry maker you will use you will use them in earrings, you will use them for rosary links, you will use them in necklaces, you will use them in bracelets, you will use them in a host of different ways. And we're gonna give you a fabulous price tag. So will I, will I use them? Yes, you will. Do you need them? Yes, you do. Are we going to give you a fantastic deal? Absolutely. Get yourself on the phone lines because these are so sterling silver very important if you're using any of your gems of distinction strands very important perhaps for the kunzite or the pearls that you're going to be buying solid sterling silver you get 40 of these the item code that you need ipg c72 would you agree with that um debbie you can't you know these are essentials yeah. you just can't have enough of them you want to, you, the most frustrating thing when you're making jewelry is to sit down with all your gems and you've got so many ideas and you go to make it and you haven't got enough findings. It is so frustrating. It so is, I would it? always stock up on things like that because they will always come in. Always. And you need them. They will always come in handy. You absolutely need them. Be on the phone lines. The price tag I'm going to give you is fabulous. Remember, these are solid sterling silver. Let's give you a price tag. There are lots of you on the phone lines for these solid sterling silver for £11.95. You've got 40 pieces and you can always up the price tag of your jewellery when you pop solid sterling silver elements into it. Well done on those phone lines. We're giving you a great deal by buying these as four, in 40s. Remember, they are solid sterling silver loads and loads of you on the phone do you know it's so lovely to have your company today don't you just love sundays don't you just love them i love them even though yeah do you know what it's not work being here even though i'm not going to get a roast dinner here today but all day up until nine o'clock my goodness me long yeah, day but i don't mind i love it it would be different if you were going into a boring old office wouldn't it yeah oh yeah but we're not we're no. a jewelry maker yeah. there's brownies I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Eleven pounds and ninety-five pence. Have a look at these. Now I'm going to give to you a Sunday offer. Oh, I like the sound of that. Does it come with Yorkshire puddings? Maybe we should all go out for a. Should we go out for a sneaky carvery at lunchtime? There's one down the road. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. It's only four quid. Should we go? I wonder if they do takeaway have takeaway do you know what would be the best thing ringing up for a delivery roast dinner oh. come on isn't this the best idea if you don't want to if you don't want to cook it takeaway roast dinner would be perfect somebody needs to invent that I had the roast yeah I had the biggest roast dinner last Sunday what meat did you have Jack you've got a picture of your roast dinner Jack's got a picture of his roast dinner go on then let's <laughs> well, I, I don't know, Debbie, because I am a big roast dinner fan. Are you? If somebody oh, right. puts beef and Yorkshire's in front of me, I'm theirs <laughs> forever. Now, let's have it. Come on, then. Let's be having you. There you go. What is that all over it? What have you ruined it with? It's got everything. What is that sauce? White sauce? Oh, no, it's um, bread sauce. Bread sauce? Do you oh, love yeah. bread sauce? They've got that gravy and nothing else. Bit of mustard, maybe. Look at the size. Jack, actually, that does look nice. It was really good. Two Yorkshire puddings. Yeah. A sausage, gammon, beef. Look at all that stuff. Oh, oh, that looks lush. Where did you get that? Uh, Tell me. I'll... Somewhere. Oh, I love roast dinners. I love cooking roast dinners. <laughs> Making proper Yorkshire puddings. As well. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love Anyway, let's give you this. <laughs> I, well, when I go home later, the farmer, we live on a beef farm, apparently when I go home later there's going to be some beef on the go. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. <laughs> Give us a text in, let me know what you're having for your roast. And if there's crackle in, oh, oh, 60777 JM Studio, followed by your message. Are you jewellery making today and got your roast in the oven? 60777 JM Studio, followed by your message. Now, 
have a look at what we've got for you. These are silver plated on copper that has been e-coated. You get 200 findings. We're going to give you a buy one, get one free deal. So you've got four toggle clasps, two meters of chain, four of the chandelier findings, six pairs of shepherd's hooks. You've got your split rings, your jump rings, your crimp beads, your silver balls, and you've got your crimp covers. You've got your eye pins, and you've got your head pins, and you've got your bolt ring and clasp. I know it all off by heart. I'm such a professional. You've got 200 findings. Now, these findings, just one of these goes ever such a long way. And I'm sure Debbie will agree. You know, the new findings packs, well, I say they're new. They've it's very rare that I use everything, even making up the kits for the show. It's very rare that I don't have things over. Really? Yeah. Lots of findings left over. Mm. 200 pieces. If you're new to Jewelry Maker, jewelry making you need as many findings as you can get because then you can really go to town experimenting with different things you know playing around with trying to copy what perhaps debbie's done on today's show things like that so don't forget we're going to give you a buy one get one free deal for 200 findings get yourself on the phone guys this is a stash it deal and a half that number for you, as always, my darling hearts, is 0800 644 655. Come shopping with us on the website this morning as well. It's jewelrymaker.com. We're going to give you a 30 day money back guarantee on absolutely everything that you buy from us because we love you. Are you ready for your price tag? I do need you on those phone lines quick, quick, quick. Last time we did a deal like this, they all sold out. That code, again, that you need L U G C 82. Seven pounds and 95 pence for 200 findings. Think about this. If you're making jewelry to sell on, profit, hello, big, big opportunity for you to make a good profit. Have a look. Silver on copper. Fabulous, absolutely fan blooming tastic. Seven pounds and ninety five pence. L U G C eighty two. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. So lush to have your company today. Please don't forget to text us in. If you've got any questions, if you want to say a big hi to anybody that's on our Sunday experience, questions for Debbie, comments, talk about your roast dinner. Actually, although that's a little bit torturous for us. Six oh triple seven. <laughs> Well done. Now, there are cues of a couple of minutes long. If you're getting engaged tones, please hang up the phone and read our. We're very, very busy on the phone lines, but no cues on the website, of course. All the W's.jurymaker.com. We're still going to give you a 30 day money back guarantee. How fantastic is this deal? Loads. Do you know so many? Yeah, of course you would stock up on this, wouldn't you? So many of you have bought two of these. Andrew, you've bought two. Lena, you've bought two. Well done, Mary, you've bought two. Christy, you've bought two. Elaine, good morning, you've bought two. Loads and loads and loads of you multi-buying. Joanna, congratulations, you've bought three. I'm doing a little Sunday dance. My friend Tarquin, what about him? They always take the mickey at me because I've got a friend called Tarquin. I think you're really mean, I love Tarquin. What's wrong with that, that name? He's frightfully like that, darlings, but he's the most amazing guy ever. We know every get Tarquin. What's wrong with that name? You're just gel. Oh, Jack. Ten a penny of you, Jack. <laughs> no, I love the name Jack. I do. I'd call, if I had a son, I'd call him Jack. You didn't, though, did you? I called him Max, but Jack was on my list. Mia wanted to call him Murphy, Max. She had a teddy bear called Murphy and she wanted Max to be called Murphy. I, I didn't hate it. I, mean, I thought it was quite cool. But I thought, no, I'm going to go with Max. But Jack, what you got for me anyway, mister? Do you know what? This bundle, um, one of the ladies on our um, experience has got this bundle. She's making with it right now. Can we see her? There they are. Give us a wave, mate. They can't hear us, can they? Way! Now, have, I wonder if they can see what I've got. And I wonder whether anything's been made from this bundle. Have a look. Have a look at what I've got because 
A certain lovely dragon wearing jewellery maker in there has got this very bundle. Can you see it? Look, there, she's holding it up. What have you got? Can you see what she made? Can we see? Can't get, we can't get that close. We'll have a catch up at 11 and have a look. Grab it now and you'll be up. Maybe, who knows what she's made? Who knows? Think about that dragon. Goodness knows what's been created. I don't know what's going on in there. They, they look like they're having a good time. Now, don't you have fun without me, girls? And you lay off them lollipops, mind. <laughs> Are you ready? Brand new today, four gorgeous strands. Now, this for me is Colorama. I love it. What about adding some pinks? I love whites. I love whites with those turquoise tones. Oh, look, look, look. Now, that looks like frothy seas, doesn't it? Oh, I love this. It's reminding me of holidays. You know what? You know when you put the terracottas with it, kind of Spanish? Oh, look at this. Oh, I love that. I love those colours together. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm oh, yeah. Look at these. Oh, Tom makes me laugh. Kay's been talking about the Maldives. I bet she has, because some little spoiler of a boyfriend keeps taking her on holiday. He's, God bless him. He's been living in, in a shoebox, eating beans to keep his woman happy. But honestly, I don't know. You are a massive spoiler. Where'd, he took her to Venice. Now, you won't know. I don't know if you know any of this. Laura, took her to Venice for a surprise for her birthday, then said that was sort of like her Christmas present combined, and then took her on a hot air balloon ride. And now there's talks of, there's talks of the Maldives. Of course there is, Tom. I bet she's there with all these, all these brochures. Look at this lovely, look at this. The Caribbean looks nice this time of the year, doesn't it, Tom? <gasps> Have a look. At what I've got. Now, Tom's only been with Kay for how long? Not even a year yet, is it? Well, it is now a year. Now, you've started like this, Tom, and, you know, being a woman as I am, I can imagine that she's thinking it's only going to get better. So you've set yourself up there, lad. Kind of, you're not asking the wrong person for a pay rise, Tom. Can I have a pay rise? It was up to me every day. Now, look with this pyrite. Gorgeous. Have a look. Again, I just think with those... What do you think, Debbie? What would you put with these? I, I just think them. that shouts holidays to me, don't you? Oh, yeah. White linens and a lovely turquoise top, just stunning. Absolutely stunning. What about... Ooh. See, I thought I would put it with something like bronzite. <gasps> something yes. quite deep uh, and bronzer. chocolatey or... What about the moo... What about moo-kite? No, I wouldn't... Mm. What about so I'd, I'd probably, I would probably pick out one of the shades from Mookite, actually. That sort of tone of colour would look nice with it. it. It actually really brings it down to earth, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, this is Howlite that has been dyed this wonderful colour. Big columns. I do the same drums. as you, though. I put white with it, I think. I always do, white because it or freshens clear. it up. White or clear. That, that's lovely. Yeah, this clear. Cool. Yeah. I always, this reminds me now of the sea. You know when the sea comes in crashing to the shore? The froths, that's what it reminds me of. Let's give you your price tag. What about with the Amazonite, Deb? Yeah, that goes, doesn't it, really nicely. Twelve ninety-five for four fabulous strands. Could you add some grey? Let's. Oh, look at the white. Look at that. Yeah, I actually think that grey looks fantastic. What about that turquoise colour wire we've got? Tiger's eye next. Sorry. I completely forgot what you said. You know when sometimes... I'm, I am, yeah, I'm giving... There's a lot of love going on with these gemstones and me today. I'm very inspired. Shall I tell you why I love today's show? There's a big mix of different shapes and sizes that we're seeing, and I, I think that's very important because sometimes you look at your stash, and I know I do this, and everything's round. What is that? Why have yeah. I got so many round beads? And I'm having to really rummage through them all to find something that's not round. 
And I think, why don't I stash up on more big chunky gemstones? Or different shapes? Because I actually take, well, I think we take inspiration not just from colour, but also from shapes, don't you? Now, tiger's eye. This could be masculine or feminine. One of these on a piece of leather cord, Debbie, would be really great. They're for gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I quite agree, you could do macrame with them. Um, yes, you could do that with men's jewellery, couldn't you? You could do yeah. quite a thick mac macrame chain just with one bead at the front. That would look lovely. Yeah. Have a look. Now, you want to see it with a bundle? You want to see it with some colour? Oh, we're so busy today. I love it. When were you last on, Debbie, my dear? Um, uh, Friday afternoon. Uh, for Friday, second half of the show, because Claire was on doing the resin. Oh. Mm, it's really good. Good Claire show. Lives near me, doesn't she? Yeah. She does. Count Road. Still haven't bumped into her in the co-op though. She must see me coming. Hide behind the carrots. Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought I'd see her, but I don't. Have a look at this. 400 carrots of tiger's eye. They're 11 by 9 to 15 by 12. So these are graduated then. different sizes, so they're not graduated, but they range from different sizes. There we are. I'd call these rectangles. They're not nuggets. You, yeah, because there is a certain person who keeps doing that. She can't decide what shape it is, she calls it a nugget. Or she doesn't even look, I think, and puts it as a nugget. It's not, it's not a nugget. I get on my soapbox or <laughs> GMG P74. I love it. Oh gosh, there are 40 of you on the phone lines. You haven't even got the price tag yet. Let's give it you. Six pounds and 95 pence is your price tag. For Tiger's Eye, that's a really, and look at the carrot weight. It's a great price, like big chunky pieces. You wouldn't need to use many of these, Debbie, would you? Like one or you two of them? You wouldn't actually, no. I think it'd be too heavy otherwise if you used all of them, but just one or two. That's all you'd need though, isn't it, really? It's going to go a really long way. It is. Beautiful. It is great beautiful. value for money. It is. Well, it's something that you, I, I, something of that size. I bought the strand when I first joined here of Tiger's Eye, some quite big rounds. And I've still got some in my stash, and I know I will no. use them, but I'll use them as and when I want to use them. You yeah. don't want to use them all together sometimes, you know? I mean, because that wrapped with antique bronze wire or gold wire would look stunning. I love it with antique bronze yeah. wire. And one or two, just one or two. Because yeah. they're big, chunky pieces. In a ring, maybe, one in a ring. And because it's not just about the size of tigers, it also gives you that fantastic optical property, doesn't it? £6.95 pence for the 30-day money-back guarantee. Now I'm going to give to you the Woya. You haven't got a Brummy accent, Laura. Just noticed by the way you said wire. Oh, you're dreadfully posh, aren't you? Yeah. Where are you from, Laura? Producer Laura. Worcester. Worcester sauce. Ah, oh, I like Worcester. My friend's got a shop in Worcester. Yeah. Have a look. Have you got a cathedral in Worcester? Is Worcester a city then? Yeah, yeah, it's got to have a cathedral if it's a city. Yeah, oh, I, I do like Worcester. Jim Brewman, he lives in Worcester. Yeah. There's a lot of celebs in Worcester. Now, that price tag is not for the wire. I'm bringing you now 0.8 wire in that fuchsia and 0.8 wire in that turquoise. Now, I think if you bought the bundle, I wonder if a certain somebody in there is uh, using this turquoise colour wire with these gorgeous gemstones. Have a look. Fantastic colour. Now, wire work. Let's talk. What can you create with wire? How can you incorporate wire into your designs? How can wire change your jewellery? 
Well, let me tell you, dramatically. If you've never worked with wire before, I don't ever want you to panic. And don't forget that incredible bundle we gave you as our early bird. Now, you got with the early bird this morning two DVDs. They're tutorials. They take you step by step. Two DVDs, the jig, and you had the um, gift. Now it's eight pounds and 95 pence for all of that. Grab that, that's your tutorial, done and dusted, and your tools. Then grab the deal that we're about to give you. You've got 200 meters. This is what you can do. 0.8, create that frame. 0.8 is great for rings. Have a look at the ring I'm wearing. So that's 0.8. So you can really go to town with wire and really change your design. This is from designer Jo. Her first show last night, she was fantastic. Now have a look, I've also got, is this a Gemma Crow piece? Have a look at this, it's incredible. 0.8 wire again. 0.8 wire will still go through gemstones as well. Then have a look at this fabulous gizmo work. So this is how wire can change the way you jewellery make. Now, Rachel Norris, who is one of our wire experts, has had some of her designs displayed in the Victoria and Albert Museum. She's done BBC documentaries, and it's all off the back of introducing wire into her jewellery making skills. And it's been a life-changing career decision for Rachel Norris, wire work. I know Debbie creates some fantastic pieces out of wire. Mark Smith has just started wire working. We all are very inspired by the very talented Gemma Crow. On the website now, if you bought these two, you'd be paying £37.90. and pence. Please don't forget to grab our early bird. If you want to grab a DVD separately, it's 4 95 You can do that, because start from the beginners. But you know what? Grab the two. Grab the two. The early bird code for you is BJGC48. BJ. GC for a 895, two DVDs, a jig, and a gizmo. So, over 37 pounds. So, the best part of 40 pounds for these two together individually on the website. Don't forget, if you've already shopped with us, if you've opened a basket, you pay one PMP, no matter how heavy that basket gets. Are you ready for a Sunday deal price tag? Put that with your Yorkshire puddings, £24.95. You'd be paying the best part of £40 if you were to buy these separately. That's for 200 metres of wire in those fabulous colours. Think about the summer pieces that you're going to create. Think about how colour blocking is very, very popular. Look at this beautiful ring. Hang on a minute, who did that? I was there at the time. Laura Binding, was it? Yeah, it's fab. £24. And 95 pence. I was there that day. Isn't that fab? These, these reminded me of Easter eggs. 24.95. Stay where you are. There are lots of you on the phone lines for this. Check out baskets on the website as well. Isn't it fabulous? Wire now. Jack's just given me a bundle. I'm going to give you this, our Jack. There you go, Bab. All right. Jack. There you go. All right, my Bab. Look at that. There you are, my lover. Right, now, we're talking about sort of frothy shores. Oh my goodness. What is this? Is this tiger's eye? It's like a bluey green colour. It's amazing. Can you see this? Seriously, come on. This is so gorgeous. Isn't it fab? Now, so delight is a gemstone that uh, Debbie made me fall in love with, the blue jeans gemstone. Oh, really? You really inspired me when you said that, because you are right. Who hasn't got a pair of blue jeans? Now, these are hearts. Look. Oh, they're ever so pretty. And they look lovely with macrame, because the, the cord fits the side. So oh, the heart sits really at the display, top, though. and then the cord goes around the side. Look, ever so pretty. I do it with white cord. Yeah, white cord would be good. To really sort of bring out the blues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen this tiger's eye? It's crazy. Look. Is that blue tiger's eye? Yeah, but it's like this wonderful bluey green I've never seen. You know, I've seen electric blue. There's golds in there as well. Oh, it's, I love it. And have a look. I love this. Now, actually, let's try this. Let's try this. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, with that Amazonite? 
Mm, I like that. Let's try. Why is it gone? Yep. So you've got the hearts. All, they're all coming together. The soda light. You've got the appetite. And you've got the tiger's eye. 200 carrots in your appetite nuggets. Now those are nuggets. And your blue tiger's eye are eight bills. 250 carrots in the soda light hearts and the dimensions. I think they're about eight mil by the looks. What are they, babes? About eight mil. Maybe 10. What? They're 11 by nine. That's how rubbish I am. With size. But look. Oh, you can really see that heart shape on the white one. Isn't it gorgeous? They're fab, aren't they? Denim blues. What would you do with these, Debs? I probably would macrame them, but also, um, if you if you pop a little round bead next door that's a, a different colour to the hearts, you're talking about the hearts? Well, all of it. It comes as a three-strand pack. Oh, right. So, I'm yeah. so busy doing my challenge, you see. I'm just so involved. You're I'm so not absorbed, watching. I am so Deborah. absorbed. I'm just concentrating. Anyway, I will put in between the hearts a bead to make them stand apart because you can't see their hearts until you separate them. I agree with that. Do you know what I mean? That. Yeah. Um, and those tiger's eye, I think I'd mix that one with those beautiful turquoise nuggets are gorgeous. The tiger's eye, I can see the different colours from here. I've never seen a strand like they it. They are beautiful. It's but like it, a blue-black. Mm, I know I keep saying it, but the pyrite would look nice. I think pyrite I would put with everything, quite well, frankly. Well, that pyrite... Pyrite or hematite just lifts everything, I think. It's just neutral. Right. Do you know it's neutral? Mm. And powerful as well, yeah. at the same time. It's beautiful. Very beautiful. Mm, like that. It's called In the Clouds. I like that. Cloud hopping. NPGC30i. Look at that tiger's eye. Look, can you see? Now look at that. Look at the change in colour. Wow! Jenny, is blue tiger's eye very unusual? Because I haven't seen blue Do tiger's eye before. you know, we've had electric blue tiger's eye. You know that really striking yeah. blue? And we've had some fuchsia pink. I've never seen this colour. I've never seen that before. It reminds me of, you know when a cloud goes past a full moon on a black night? I don't know why, but that's what it's reminded me of. Like, look, look at it. It look is beautiful. That. Can you see? Yeah, I can I, see it from here, you, you know. know like I blue, really black mascara, genuinely. it's that yes. colour. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. I don't even know if they still do that blue, black no. mascara. I used to <laughs> love that. Look at Look at that power. Let's give you a price tag. Look at that power. Eleven ninety-five for all three strands. It's a fabulous deal for all three strands. Under four pounds each. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five on the phone lines. All the W's. Dot jewelry maker. Dot com. Money back guarantee. It's so lovely to have your company here on this gorgeous Sunday. Well, I don't know if it's gorgeous outside, is it? If it's not, close the curtains, stay in your slippers, get your dressing gown on, have a cup of tea and a bacon sardine. Get your roast on. Oh, yeah, that's what Sundays are for, isn't it? Right, now, our, our producer, Laura, is somewhat of an expert on making tiaras. It's Laura's business. That's what she did before she came here. And in fact, that's what inspired that's what inspired Laura to, in fact, come here and approach us at Jewelry Maker. We're privileged to have you, actually, Laura's. Now, are you getting, what are you, is this two separate? Yes, they're two separate. I've got the um, combs and the tiara pieces to give to you. I want to show you what you can create. Who made these? You, when did you make these? Your mum made this who can't make anything. She's brilliant. Might model that for her later. Yeah, I'm gonna. Can I show you? Look at look at on my. Look at this. If I was to get married, I'd be. Oh, you're gonna make my tiara. No one's gonna marry me. But look, will you marry me? Yeah, because we were saying this yesterday, weren't we? No one wants to marry either of us. So together, we could, it's legal, isn't it? Yeah, we could do it. Let's do it. 
Who's going to wear the dress? Both of us. <laughs> yeah, I really like this idea. I really like it. Well, I was threatening. My friend's getting married on my birthday, so I thought, I'm going to wear a wedding dress to her birthday. <laughs> to her wedding. That would be really funny. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. It is cool. I'd like, just as a joke, I'm not going to actually do it. Or am I, Charlotte? Have a look at this. It's fantastic. Look at the tiny pearls. Oh my gosh, we've got those tiny pearls. <gasps> oh my, Debbie, look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. She's amazing, isn't she? Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, this is why I, I love, love being a girl. Because we get to wear things yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Did you wear a tiara when you got married? Uh, did I? Yeah. You should remember this, Debbie, this big day. She can't yeah. remember. How long have you been married for, Deb? Uh, 24 years. Wow. Nearly. I don't think I could, anybody could live with me for as long as 24 months, let alone years. <laughs> <gasps> when, what's your next wedding anniversary, Tom wants to know? Is it silver? I don't know. The next, I actually got 24 years on... Uh, in February. <gasps> so I don't know how many 24 is. We'll look it up for you. You better know. You better know. You can have a party. 25 year party now. Of course. How lovely. How hmm. Oh, Deb. Oh. 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 Oh, we might have a cry. <laughs> have a look at this. Now you get everything. You get the crackle cross. I'm in love with Debbie, have you seen these pearls? How long have we had these for? The tiny weeny weeny ones. Weeny, the weeny and weeny beautiful. weeny ones. I had that for a challenge on one of the show. It took me an them. hour to put them around the beads, but I'll tell you something, they are worth every second because they are beautiful. Laura, can you tell me how easy was it to thread these? Be honest. Are they quite She's made a heart with these. She it, it took time but it was worth it. Mm. Look. Oh, come on, I love it. Oh, and the big pearls. Remember what's on my head. Not going to take it off. I wonder if there's a veil in the props department. <laughs> Have a look at the tiara. Oh, that is beautiful, isn't it? That's pearl and crackle quartz. I love it. I love it. I love it. So you get the pearls. Now you also get the silver balls. And you get. What, what are you using these for then? The little ends? These? The gold? Do these come with the gold ends? Oh, no, they're gold. Yeah, I've got the beads here, look. I don't know where those gold things came from. They don't come with. Now, 0.4 wire. And get, which is the best one for tiara making, you get tiaras and Fascinators DVD. I'm going to ask Laura a few questions about this because this is Laura's bag. This is your business, Laura. Laura, talk to me. How much will you sell a tiara like the one I'm wearing on my head for? Genuine pearls, genuine gemstones. She's got an order for this tiara already. £55. Actually, that's quite cheap. Handmade, bespoke. Oh, because she's a friend. That's mates' rates. £55. Cheap, actually. It is that very, is very cheap. cheap. Too cheap, you are, Lil. Oh, she's her friend. She's one of her best friends. Okay, oh. fine. You'd normally charge a lot more. Would you say, Laura, that tiaras and fascinated or bridal jewellery is a great way to make a fabulous profit? Because you've made your business. Profit margins are huge, Laura's saying. Especially from if you reflect it on the cost of the gemstones that we're getting here. Tiaras and fascinators. You get your silver balls, you get your DVD, you get 10 metres of 0.4 wire, and more importantly, those gorgeous tiny little pearls, the large freshwater pearls, and the crackle quartz. 
SVG CO2 is your item code. If you want to get yourself involved in wedding jewelry, and I know you know a lot of jewelry makers, in particular Mark Smith, says he's challenging himself to a new um, a new technique every month, and actually he's going to start doing wedding pieces. He wants to start going to the wedding fairs and advertising himself as a jewelry maker. So that could be something that you want to do. Are you ready for a fabulous price tag? All of this with the DVD, with the wire and with the silver balls. For £17.95. pence. Unbelievable. Look again at the creations. I love this little comb. And you had lots of gemstones left over. Isn't that fab? Now, what about this? Because you're going to want the combs and you're going to want the headbands. So I'm going to give it to you and have them also. You can never have too many of these, says Laura, if you are doing your bridal jewellery. Do you ever make bridal jewellery, Debs? No, I don't. You haven't done it yet? No, no. It's not my sort of thing. You're, you love to do your polymer clay. Do you think it's important to sort of find your niche? Yeah, I do, actually. Making. Yes, I do. I mean, when I was teaching, I used to do tiaras and what have you. And I did them, and they were fine, but it's not necessarily what I love to do. You know? And you I think you've got, to, you've got to thing. find something that makes your jewellery yours, your unique tag, really, to make it completely unique to you. And you can do that by doing your polymer clay pieces, by doing your macrame pieces, by doing your tiaras and your fascinators. Mm. It's just whatever avenue you want to go down with your jewellery making. I think it'd be really nice knowing that you're creating something for somebody on their big day. Oh, it's special. Very, very special. There's nothing like it. Get with this. One, two, three, four, five. Even if you're not doing bridal pieces, hair combs you could do. Five well, bridesmaids jewellery, really, couldn't you? Little oh, yeah. Little bridesmaids or poses or... But also things like prom jewellery. Going to a ball. Yeah. You know, lots of... These kids are having proms now. We didn't do that when we were younger. It's a very American True. thing to do. And Your the sons had their the... proms. Oh, yeah, they did yeah. last year, yeah. But the corsages now, people are putting gemstones in. Yeah. So they can keep them rather than having fresh flowers. They're doing them out of... Um... I, pre I prefer the idea of being able to keep it. It's not... Yeah, I do. I mean, I, I love do. fresh flowers, don't get me wrong, I do. Nice to keep something forever. Yeah. Beautiful. Are you ready to get involved? If you want to do prom style jewellery, if you want to do bridal jewellery, if you just bought the kit, then you're going to need these. You've got five tiaras, five hair combs. So let me just show you. You could be creating something very simple, done by Laura's mum. Something very intricate, done by Laura. She's always got to show off that, Laura. You've always got to go one better. <laughs> Poor old Linda. Not can, old, not old. Poor, poor Linda. Can I say a good suggestion that I had from somebody, and I don't do this sort of jewellery, but if you are local to an all-girls school or a school with a sixth form, contact them and say, can I come in one afternoon or one lunchtime, or if you have a, a ladies' night with all the parents, and just put a stall and say, I'll do prom jewellery and give you, you know, 10% or something, you know, and get orders from, yeah, a, you from could a girls' donate school. Donate to the school, couldn't donate you? Donate to the school or something, yes. You get a lot of orders that way. Are you ready to get yourself involved? 0800 6 BLG C04. Down to £6.95. Do you know what? I've been, there's a place in um, near me, this little Cotswold shop. Hair bands for little girls, about 15 quid. Yeah. I'd, Special if I, ones. If I was doing wedding fairs, I'd buy half a dozen of those because that's blooming good value. Yeah, it's really good value, <laughs> it isn't really it? It really is. And these are quality pieces mm. as well, 6 95 It's just fabulous. Absolutely wonderful. I love it. I love all of it. Well done to everybody that's shopping with us on the website. It's lush to have your company. And on the phone lines, love you all. We've got any text messages yet this morning? We have. I want to say hello to you. Right, what you got for me, our kid? Ooh, ooh. Oh, Debbie, look at these. Let's go with your dress. Oh, I like that. I love them. I like giraffe print, aren't they? Oh, I love these. Check out. 
And not just that, look, if you're into wire wrapping, woo! What would you do with these? I'm always stuck with these great big chunky gemstones because I want to wire wrap them and I can't see past that. What would you do? Do you know what I would do? I would get some cord mm -hmm. and I'd put... Leather or anything, any cord. Any cord, really. You need a fine one to go through the middle and then put some thicker cord around the outside and just have one bead and then knot it underneath, like an ornamental knot. Yeah. And then another bead, so you have it very, very long but just every so often have over big the head beads style. over the head. Big, chunky, gorgeous, yeah, just really, really Beyonce long. style. Yeah. yeah, I like that idea. I love the giraffe print as well because they, they're glistening. I love it. Well, blacks and whites are great to have in your stash, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they're a staple, aren't they, really? Oh, yeah, and anyone can wear them. And it does, it's the sort of thing, isn't it? Like, if I went round to my mum's house and she's had some black and white jewellery, it's quite likely I'd put it on and go, yeah, mum, I'm borrowing this. Yeah. You know, but, and Mia might borrow... You know, it's an ageless thing, black and yeah, white. Yeah, fashion colours come in and out, but black and white will never go out of fashion, will they? Never. And, and you know, it doesn't matter what colour trends are going on. I mean, you can put it with colour blocking. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You could put it with subtles. So you've got the agate. Look at the size of those big chunky babies. 700 characters in that one strand of black agate with quartz alone. They're cuboids and they're 15 by 40 millimetres. You become white to giraffe print rounds of 14 millimetres. You've got a lot of chunk. A lot of chunk is what you've got. You know, with big <laughs> chunky jewellery. A big statement. BEGC21 is your item code. Let's give you a price tag. £11.95 for two gorgeous strands. And these are feature strands, aren't they? They're not tiny strands, they're big statement strands. I'd do a simple stretchy out of that, because I just like it like that. White shirt, pair of jeans, nice pair of black heels. Jobs are good and I agree, actually. Nice really and nice. simple. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a matching pair of earrings. <laughs> really? Yeah. You Can you believe earrings? that? Me? No. Me? Earrings? No. No, no I don't wear earrings. <laughs> I do. Eleven ninety-five. It, I, Mia still has not her ears pierced. It's because I'm worried she might steal all my earrings. <laughs> She's gone beyond it now. I said, do you want your ears pierced, Mia? She was like, I asked you when I was six, Mummy. I'm nearly 12 now. Forget it. I'm bored of asking. <laughs> I don't know what age they have it done. I think probably about 11, 6... Oh, 16, you're saying? Yeah. Oh, you know, older. They've got little tiny baby ears, haven't they? And it hurts. It does hurt. Have a look. Don't even talk to me about your ears. <laughs> I've told you, if I was your mother, I'd go bananas. I'd go mad if Max came home with those in his ears. Honestly, I would. You'd have your pocket money taken off you and I'd, they'd be out of your ears. There'd be no way. I don't mind this. It's these big holes. Well, what are you going to do with them when you're 80? I know you're not going to care by then. Hang your coat off them? Yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah, probably. Coat hangers, yeah. It worries me. It worries me a lot. <laughs> I've got a son. He might, have your sons come home with this no. pen? What would you do? No. Uh, I... They wouldn't dare. Good girl. They wouldn't... Ah, they wouldn't dare, though, would they? They wouldn't dare. Well, your mum... Your mum disowned you when you got a lip... Did she? You're no son of mine. <laughs> That's what she said to Tom. <laughs> she didn't look him in the face for a month. I can agree with that, but your little beautiful baby who you think is perfect, and they go and stick great big holes in themselves. Yeah. Just get out of my sight. I'm fed up of looking at you. <laughs> That's what I'd be like. Poor, poor kids of mine, I, honestly. As for tattoos, you got a tattoo? Have you? I like tattoos on other people. I don't want my kids to be doing it, though. I haven't got any. I'm too scared of needles. Doesn't hurt that Doesn't much. Hurt that bad. I had my eyebrows tattooed on once. What? That did hurt. Well, I haven't got any eyebrows, Jack. You've, if it rains, I, mean, <laughs> I have to do this. <laughs> Honestly, when it rains and I'm outside, I have to panic because I've got no eyebrows. They are so blonde, I just look like a giant forehead. <laughs> got some on my back. 
I'd love some of yours, Jack. I'd love to be, a, I'd love, you know, like stick on eyebrows with actual, that'd be good. <laughs> You just weave them in or something, I don't know. See all these people having their eyebrows threaded, I think. You know how lucky you are. Now have a look. That was lovely. What do you mean these have been made up in the other room? The other room. The Sunday Experience lovelies have got this. In the other room, says Laura, like it's a dark place the other side. Nothing dark about that. They look lovely in there. Have a look. Big, chunky, fabulous tourmaline. One of the birth gemstones of October, as you know. Golden obsidian I'm in love with. Now let's check this golden obsidian out. It's not just a black gemstone. These remind me of black moons. They're like black moonstone. Quite hard to show you actually. I can obviously see that shimmer really strongly, and I just looked on the screen, you can't see it so well. We're gonna go to the um, Sunday experience. I hope they've left me some brownies in there. I'll tell you what we should do for the Sunday experience is we should always make them bacon sarnies. <laughs> yeah, we should. In fact, I'm gonna bring a little grill in. That's what we should do. Yeah. It should be illegal not to have bacon sandwiches on a Sunday morning. Now look at these big, fabulous chunks of tourmaline. Look at that colour. You've got those rubelite reds. You've got almost amber in there. You've got some greens. I love the texture of these. Now, Debbie, when you've got this wonderful strand of texture, I'm thinking very much Gemma Crow, because she loves her chunky gemstones. What would you do? Well, I love chunky gemstones. Oh, they're gorgeous. They are fabulous, aren't they? They're lovely. <gasps> what about those colours? I love tourmaline. Oh, that's beautiful. I do like that. We've got a piece of... We, we did have a, a, um, some jewellery with lots of tourmaline in it. Well, yeah, it's not here now. So what would you do with all these chunks? Would you put See, I would, I would probably separate those out and put some quite chunky beads, some of uh, You know the lovely... Um, these lovely gold and silver beads that we've got on the websites? Yeah. Yeah? You know these, these ones that we've got on the websites? These, that sort of look? that are oh, larger. I think you need to complement the size of the, the chunks mm. and the beads. Otherwise, you put tiny ones, they just get lost. Yeah. Um, so I would probably put something like that, just as for some drama. In between each individual no, one, no, or would no, you no. group I'd probably put a few, a few on, a, on a, um, a piece of beading thread, and then a bead, and then a bit of chain, mm. and I'd probably do quite a long necklace, and just split them all up. Um, or just put a little tiny gold or silver bead in between each chunk and just have it. Chunk. And just have it as a normal neck. It would be just full of necklace. so much texture yeah. and colour. Beautiful. I really like this strand. We've got mm. nothing else like it, have no, we? No, absolutely not. No, we haven't at the moment. Maybe if you've got some smaller tourmaline nuggets, that would look good with these. Oh yeah, that would look lovely. Because you could space it out a little yeah, bit could. and then keep on that colour thing. Because mm. we've had quite a few strands like that, the double strands. It's lovely. Very low in stock, backed by popular demand. Are you ready for an incredible price? Like big, gorgeous chunks. And your black obsidian. Your black and gold obsidian. It's called Modern Femininity. UIGC11. Are you ready? Under £10 for both strands. That is fantastic. What about pearls? What about pearls with tourmaline? Actually, that really lifts it, doesn't it? Love that black, um, black and gold obsidian. Black and gold. That's going to be in my head now, Tom. As Tom's found that in my ear. Now we're going to go to your text messages in a bit of a tickle. We're going to go over and have a little bit of a chat, a chin wag, and a bit of a giggle with everybody in the Sunday experience. Don't move a muscle, I'll be right back in a couple of jiffies.
Welcome back. I'm with the lovely ladies on the Sunday Experience. Now, um, earlier on, I gave you a bundle with all those fabulous turquoise colours. Alison had it, and I'm going to show you what she's created. This is fantastic, Alison. Thank you very much. Oh, you're so neat with your wire work. Love these colours. Let me just pop that The colours are beautiful together, aren't they? I see it, we had it as a, a great yeah, price tag, it. wasn't it? We've been watching on there, this is so cruel. You put things on that telly and we're watching them go, no, we want it! <laughs> <laughs> it's so they mean. Are. You can't order it. No! <laughs> that is just Are so you allowed mean. to use it? You can use your mobiles. Oh, you've no, you're not allowed. To switch them off. Oh, yeah, you're not allowed. <laughs> it's cruel. Not allowed. It is cruel, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? You should have someone at home <laughs> buying everything for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love yeah, this Yeah, wave bracelet. if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> What an amazing bracelet. I really love these colours and I think it I works nicely with that antique bronze wire, doesn't it? That's got to be my favourite wire. Everybody says it. that. It goes with everything though, doesn't mm, it? Does. I also like the copper because it yeah. looks like rose gold. But both of them together are stunning. The colours of them together, just amazing. Very Bulgari, darling. Very Bulgari. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm gonna move on over. Shall I stay on my knees? Yeah. Oh, bless you. <laughs> I'm coming over. There's no point in getting up. So. Actually, oh well, I have got my slippers. They're down by the door. Look. Can you see my look? I have my slippers by the door. <laughs> look at those. That's how I came in this morning in my slippers. Just <laughs> put them on my knees, shouldn't I? I think we can nick the tiara. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, isn't it gorgeous? It's oh, she's amazing at tiaras. That that girl, that lawsy dawsy. I love what you've made with these tassels. Oh, the tassels. Pearls and tassels. Mm -hmm. Look at those earrings. How fab Whoops. is that? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, oh. I love the floor, right? I love floor. Oh, you've got the the bun. You had the bundle from earlier. Look at this necklace. Oh, I love it. That's beautiful. And you've used the crimp beads as a feature. Yeah, just to make it float. So Can nice. I see on your? A chain mail ring. Yes, but it's Cassium Catherine. It's amazing. Yeah. Have you been swapping all your jewellery? Did you oh. do you know each other anyway? Well, uh, we, 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 we met now. Yeah, yes, so. and we had a meet up last yeah. night and, uh, ah. and playing with jewellery and uh, a meal together. So we had great fun. <laughs> so we extended the jewellery maker experience. Yes. By a bit longer. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, so you contacted fun. each other via Facebook yeah. and said, right, yeah. you're all yeah. going. So do that. Come in on our Sunday experience. Absolutely. We love meeting everybody. Yeah. Have a nice meal. Yeah. Oh, a nice glass of wine. Did you have? No. Or two? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that <it? laughs> Good girl. <laughs> get it down here. You know, you know, a pint of what? Cider? No, lager. Oh, lager. Oh, yeah. Get it down here. Get it down here. <laughs> I'm going to get up because my knees feel like they might. Oh, getting old. You can just cut past 30. You can't get up without going oh, 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 Cod liver oil, that's what I need. <laughs> now I'm seeing some vintage pieces. You're fantastic. <gasps> you made a butterfly. I'm coming down to I'm coming down to your level. I can't be above you. How beautiful is that? Oh you're oh you've got to work with Oh my gosh, the pearls. This is lush. <gasps> You've used the tiny little pearls. Look how beautiful. I love those, do you? Look at the tiara that she made. Yeah, that's gorgeous. She's brilliant, isn't she? We wanted that one. Did you? Yeah. What stood out in the show? What stood out in the show so far? Definitely the tiara things and the wire. Everybody's been saying about the wire and the little tiny pearls that you had with the I love them. They're so gorgeous. And you've used tiny pearls in that? I love pearls, do you? I love them. They just feel so vintage. Yeah, and so just elegant. And yeah. Just make you feel elegant when you wear them. I think so. They always look classy, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Right, I'm going to move on over. How are you, my darling? I'm absolutely fine. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. What are you making? Oh, you're making out of that tall no, Yes, bundle. that gorgeous. I've just noticed it and then we found the strand on the table, so I'm just going to put it onto gold beading thread and then crochet. Oh, you're crochet, brilliant um, at crochet, um, you are. And uh, probably an illusion necklace, because I love big nuggets on crochet necklaces. Me too, and these are huge. They I've never are seen tourmaline like they that. They are absolutely stunning. They really are stunning. And all the ladies have agreed today that um, what you see on screen, mm. when you get them home, they take on a complete new persona. Much better. Um, and I mean, uh, yes, I mean, the sun, I had I had some sunset strand of sunset. Well, we, we've never bought it because, you know, and 
going to buy it now. Yeah, because honestly, sunstone, you've got to get it home. Yes. It's the glitter inside it's it. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But you must never forget about your 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're looking at something and you're thinking, oh, I'm not sure, grab it, because there's nothing better than getting something home and being absolutely pleasantly surprised by it and thinking, you love this. If you don't, you send it back. It's never a problem. We don't even ask you why. You know, you don't love it, send it back. Yes. You know, that's the great thing, isn't it? Uh, oh, look at that one. Getting up again. <gasps> the look size of that, that one. Bronze tones inside it. Isn't that stunning? That's Beautiful. what I love about them. It's just the surprise that you get. I love it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Up I get. Anna, I'm coming to you, my babs. Oh, hello. <laughs> now you're making a little charm. I am. But I'm having a bit of a problem with it. Oh, you've got the you've got the golden obsidian there. Have you used golden obsidian before? Uh, what this one? This one here. This is golden obsidian. Look. Can you see? See inside oh, all the yeah. little gold, like no, moonstone. I thought it was um, black onyx. No, look, because when you move oh, it, yeah. do you see that? But you see, I did the, did this one as well because I thought oh. the blue went with it. It does, it reflects off it. Yeah. Beautiful. So I did it a bit differently. But yeah. I so love I it. Felt... You've used lots of big, chunky gemstones, yeah. which I love. This is such a cute Valentine's bracelet, isn't it? So I've put a heart charm on the Real heart, heart theme. Sorry, my hands are getting away. Let me see. <laughs> so. It's fab, yeah, isn't I've... it? You're having a lovely experience yeah, so I've far. Had time, so. Have you? Yeah. What stood out for you in today's show? Well, the tiara kit was quite good. We've, yeah, it's lovely. I really wanted that. Um, Are you going to get into type tiara making? Have you done yeah. it before? No, I haven't. I'd like to get into the wire work, which you've got to keep asking the lady. Oh, show me how to do that. Show me how to do that. Get the DVDs. They're amazing. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, I've got one of them, and I've got a gizmo, but um, I really need to. Get you need a to bit get started with it. Yeah. it. Jigs are fab as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get started. You can make some amazing pieces. Yeah. Right, up I come. <laughs> up I come. Right, Wend, I'm coming for you. Hello. Don't mind calling you Wend, do you? No, My cousin cool Wendy. I'm like, Wend. Called Wendy's as well. Wendy's. Wendy's. Dead on the bottom. Wendy Bird from work. Oh, <laughs> I like that, Wendy Bird. Now, this is just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Might get stolen. Look at that. <laughs> would I? Let me just move the cup. Probably. There we go. Can you see? Yeah, of course I would. <laughs> How long did it take you to do this? Oh, gosh, about half an hour. That's not yeah, that long, actually, no. when you think about how detailed it looks. Yes. Do you know? It looks like something you would see in a in a painting of the, one of the royal family in the Tudor. So it looks you know, royal, it's just, doesn't it? it yeah. looks, it's very regal. Mm. It's beautiful. I absolutely adore it. I love purple and pearls together. Mm. It's gorgeous. Now, what are, you, what are you up to now? Well, I've just <gasps> got these garnet and silver I've put them together and probably another bracelet, if not necklace. Depends on how far they go, but it'll probably be a bracelet. I love that garnet, do you? Yeah. Look at the clarity it's of it. It's lovely. Yeah, absolutely it's absolutely gorgeous. Really, really nice. What stood out in the show for you today? Well, I haven't really been taking a lot of notes to the show. You've been to be there, I've been here. Yeah. Well, I don't blame you with all this. Yeah, I've your... just been here and doing this. So. Look, do you know you're all extremely, extremely talented? It's wonderful to have you all in today. <laughs> and all of these gorgeous designs. I hope you're all at home being inspired. Please don't forget to interact with us um, on Facebook. Click to like our Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter. We're at jewelrymaker.com. And give us a text in 60777JM Studio, followed by your message. We're going to read out some messages in just a tick. I've got some pearls coming up for you, and I've got those. Abalone pals shell fishtails, I'm calling them. They're on, what are you making? You're going, I'm yeah. ready for the fishtail. Oh, you're ready for the, I'll bring it in, I'll bring it in. I'll give it to Jack and Jack will bring them in. They're, they're going under 15 pounds. Do not move a muscle, we'll be right back. just been on Cherry's Beading for Beginners course and I think it was a great day. I've learned a great deal. I've learned about putting different colour beads together, about how to do a beady bead, how to do lovely necklaces, uh, earrings and bracelets and I had a wonderful time. I feel very inspired and I would thoroughly recommend it.
baby, baby. I can't wait to show you this. I love this strand. Debbie loves this strand. Everybody, and the Alison, it's coming to you in a minute. Do not worry, I'll give it to Jack. These little mermaid's tails. Now, th that's what I, the first thing I wanted to do was put two together. I can't do it because of the spacer it's on. Do you know, both sides of these, but you sort of get the gist. I put two together, one there and one there, and I'd make the end of a mermaid's tail, and then I would wire work. If I was talented at wire work, I'd make that into a fish tail, you know, them together. Do you sort of get what I mean? Now, Debbie, these are just beyond beautiful. And we've been putting these with the pyrite quite a lot. Isn't it lovely to have something beautiful. so different? Oh, yes. Just nice to have a different shape to have a work, have play with. And uh, oh, well, just, oh, they're just stunning. Can you imagine going on holiday and going out in the sunshine and coming in, you've got a bit of colour and you put that turquoise by oh, your skin. Yeah. It just, it just glows. It's all of that fantastic. Oh, look, see, there's two together. It's that fantastic shape. It's the way the light hits them. These are butterfly wings. They've got movement, they're fairy wings, they're fish tails. Just so magical, aren't they? They've got a real mystical, magical fantasy feel about them. And they'll go really well with the next kit that I've got coming up for you. Now, I want you on the phone lines for these. They're back by popular demand. We had them a year ago. It's taken us that long. They will sell out, I know it. Get yourself on the phone lines. We've got less than 100 of these. You need to be very, very quick. 0800 644 655. You need them in your life. BJG, P53. The dimensions, they are 36 by 20. Let's get that price out to you because we're very, very limited. If you're putting this in your baskets on the website, check them out. I know this strand's going to sell out £11.95 for something so different to anything you've already got in your stash. Let me give them a count because you could. these could be individual pendants. I love them. I just adore them. What about being really, really elaborate and putting them all in one piece? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Half of this entire stock's been allocated. We're about to move into limited stock. Look, and think about using your mesh with these. I'd love to see that with mesh. Think about wire work with these. That would also look fantastic. Look at the, are they sold out? Yeah, they've gone, they've sold out. If you're on the phone lines, you need to stay where you are. If you're not on the phone lines, you've missed out. If you haven't checked your baskets out, I think you've missed out too. Well done to everybody that did get those. Please send us in your Wall of Fame entries. I can't wait to see it. Now I've got a brand new kit for you. And I want to show you, you get a lot with this kit. You've got silver wire 15 metres, and that's on a 0.4, so great for tiaras and fascinators. You've got your Beading Projects DVD. You've got, I'm going to show you the gemstones. So your Beading Projects DVD and your wire. Three fabulous strands. Pyrite, one of Debbie's favourites. You've got the Purple Agate and you've got the Rose Quartz. Love these. They go together very beautifully, don't they? Now you've got your um, deep purple beading thread. You've got your stainless steel beading thread, your purple elastic, your clear elastic. You've got purple organza gift bags, 10 of those. You've got 10 meters of purple wire. And you've got your lobster claw clasp, extender chains, and ribbon ends. You've also got a sterling silver pendant, solid sterling silver pendant. So you get ever such a lot with this kit. Don't forget, you've got the DVD. And I think pearls will go beautifully with this. I've got a really lovely strand of small white pearls, which I think will go really well. They're not small compared to the little tiny ones we had earlier. It's still a great size. It's called Glam It Up. And believe me, you get ever such a lot. Don't forget, you've got 100 findings. You've got the ribbon, the organza. You've got the purple beading thread, the stainless steel beading thread. Those purple strike agate rounds are 8 mil. 300 carats in your rose quartz twisted beads. Those are 10 by 15. 10 mils in your pyrite. Those are 400 carats. And don't forget, a solid sterling silver 
Here's all your findings, 100 of those, including a metre of chain. Two toggle clasps, your chandeliers, three pairs of um, shepherd's hooks, your split rings, your jump rings, your crimpy covers, your um, silver balls, and your jump rings. Have a look at that silver pendant. What could be a connector, be, could do, you could do whatever you want. We're going to see what Deb has done with hers, the DVD. Let's give you a price tag. ANGC52 is the code that you need for Glam It Up. 15 metres, don't forget, of silver coloured wire. 27.95. The wire, the DVD, the lobster claw clasp pens, the three strands of gemstones, the purple beading wire thread, the stainless steel. The uh, purple elastic, the clear elastic, you get loads in this kit, all for £27.95. Let's go on over to Debbie and have a look at her fabulous designs. And you know they're going to be fabulous because this is Debbie. If you call in for those fabulous power shell, I'm afraid they have gone and sold out. And this kit's very, very popular already. Lots of you putting this into your baskets and you haven't even seen Debbie's gorgeous designs yet. Did you love it, this kit? I loved it, yeah. I knew really, you would because of the power. Really. Oh, I wondered whether you put this kit together, actually. Uh, do you know we do so many kits? I can't remember what's the name. What the name? Glam it up. No, didn't do this one. Because I looked at these. It's the and names I, thought I remember of you. more than anything. Actually. Is it? Because yeah. you put so many yeah. together. <laughs> now you've made. Oh look! At, I love this purple beading thread. It's one of my favourites. Isn't it gorgeous? I had a dream about beading thread last night. How sad is that? I know. It is, isn't it? Yes. Um, no, it's beautiful. To me? It is beautiful. It's a lovely colour. Love this. Well, that's my thing, isn't it, really? It's tassels. That's just it dangles. Me. Look at that. I just love beady beads. do that with everything. I love everything. that you do this with the head pins. That's my favourite kind of look, yeah. too. Yeah, I just love the, I love the gemstones moving. I just think they look stunning when they're moving like that. Me too. Catch look the at, eye. Look at that. Love the pyrite and the rose quartz here. That's just a two-strand weave, just as we normally do. Two into one. It's nice and simple, that, isn't mm, it? Very simple. Look at these. Gizmo, did you do? Yes. Gizmo earrings. I love these. These are really quirky. <laughs> They're cute, aren't they? Those are hair up in a ponytail. Yeah, really nice. Like those. On the beach. You know, it will be sunny one day. <laughs> Have a look. <laughs> Hopefully. Or we can go on holiday. We should do that. Look at this. Now, an over-the-head necklace. Love it. Now, you've used the silver bead. How many have you got? Two? Did you get two of the silver connectors? Yep, I think you did. Actually. You get two of those? Yes. I only had one, so you get two silver connectors. Look at this bracelet as well. I love that. I've never seen gizmo connect. Um, it's like a ladder weave, isn't it? Yeah. I like that, and then a really pretty Just very, pair very of earrings. Simple. Are these earrings from this kit as well? Uh, no, those are from the last one. A different one. one. Yeah. How fab are they? Really pretty but simple, aren't they? They're lovely. I really like those, Debbie. Mm. Because they're simple and they're dangly, yeah. I like them. What technique are you going to show us? Little earrings with the gizmo -y bit. Good. Now, I'm I had a couple, of, a couple of lengths of gizmo -y things left over from the bracelet, but they weren't quite long enough. So I thought, well, what on earth am I going to do with those? What shall I do? Don't waste them. Don't waste them. So I decided to make some earrings. So show you how to do those. I like the little sort of lightning flash yeah. that you've done across. <laughs> there. I always do that with the wire. I don't know why. Another thing it's I do. See a little signature. It's my little thing I do. You're so Balford. Oh yes. Um, so we take about an inch worth, or you know, about two, two and a half centimeters of gizmo. Why? Oh, do you want me to show you how to do the gizmo? Yes, please. As we've got it in the early bird, haven't we? We have it in the early bird? Is that we what did we have it in the early bird. Yeah, you did, a crazy deal So you on have that. your gizmo and you have your two mandrels, one larger, one small. So you use a small one with this I one? I use the small one for this one. And I've used, whoops, and there's a clamp underneath here on, on the desk to hold it nice and firm, but you don't actually have to you don't hold need it in a your clamp. hand. No, you hold it in your hand. In your honestly. knees, if you may. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you put that into the, the gizmo, take your end of your wire and wind it around the handle. There's no particular way you have to wind it no, around the handle, no, no, just as long as it stays. Just as long as it secures, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Start to coil. Now, when I first started using these, used to, when I first made my own, when I first put that on the programme, Ooh. I thought it wound here, but it doesn't. It, doesn't it winds here. here. It's going to let that go, the wire go. And you just, you just literally How wind it and wind this? it. And it just gives you a very even coil. And if you do get gaps in it, just push it against the the gizmo and it fills the gap. 
just neatens it up, doesn't it? So that's it. Ever so easy to do. We've got we've got a clown up there. Yes, look. we have. We've got somebody there distracting us. Adam. Putting faces. Hello, Adam. Adam Tex wearing. Name and shame. Name and shame him. <laughs> Stay there, Texie. He's being naughty. He's like, woo! See, people like the corner of your eye here and you think, yeah, I'm not going to look, I'm not going to look. Oh, dear. Father right. of twins messing around like oh, that. Eh? Twins, oh. eh? Twins. Twins, oh dear. Twin girls, how lovely. So, um, that's how to do the gizmo. Ever so easy. But then, but then, but then, then it's not just bending it round like that, is it? Have no. a look what Deb is doing. So, pop the wire through the gizmo. I've just got one piece of wire. And I'm going to feed one piece of wire. In fact, I'll feed two pieces. It's got quite big holes actually here through the bead, all right? And you pull like you would with thread until it goes into a coil. There we go. So it goes into a loop at the bottom, all right? So you pull them through until they're tight. Take one piece of wire and wind it through again, through the bead. So then you've got your piece of wire and you can do whatever design you want on the front. And I normally hold it in my hands and Oops, get your flat nose pliers, hold the wire and just kink oh, it. Oh, this is how you did the lightning bolt? Yeah, yeah, you just hold the wire and you just go like that like and it just that. kinks it a little bit, all right? It, but it makes a big difference. It does. Now, the wire at the top, I have loop to go onto my uh, shepherd hooks, but just to make it stronger, I'm going to twist it and twist it and twist it until it's quite a firm wire like that all right so it's really really twisted and quite quite firm take your round nose pliers and just wrap it so you've then got your loop ready to put onto your shepherd hook so if I cut that whoops I cut that and hold it up I'll move my fingers out of the way in a second drop me a second all right pull the wire around to the front and there you've got your drop ready to put onto your earring okay it's really really simple very very easy to do it's a nice way of using up the extra bits of wire and you can you can loop these loop them through each other so you can get like a chain of them Lovely. if you want to yeah, like a big link so a really simple technique but really really easy to do and it okay. looks like, there's no way it looks handmade with those gizmos no, you know, no, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. So and I've, I've seen these used on, like I've done the tassel, but, but lots of these put onto the tassel, and then you get the movement of the wire as well. So rather than have just oh, the beads yeah. on the on the head pin, you've, you've then got, got a tiny loop of wire on the end as well, which looks really, really quite very funny, effective. Funny. Yeah. Oh, you need to be quick with this kit already. Three quarters of the entire stock have gone for twenty-seven ninety-five. Mm. You got the DVD, you got the wire, you got the two silver bead connectors, mm. you got hundred findings. Of course, you got three wonderful strands in the pyrite, the rose quartz, and the agate. But you get such a lot. You do. And, the, and think all about the different, different, different ways of using the wire. Because here I've just knotted it. So you put it into a bead. I love knot, that, like a pretzel knot. And then just just screwed it up into another bead the other side. So that looks nice on necklaces and bracelets, just just knot it. Because I'm not a wire person, I'm not a Rachel Norris or Laura. But you're very good at wire stuff. No, I'm not, I'm not. Not compared to, to them, goodness me, no, I'm not very tidy. But I, I like doing little beads like that. Yeah. I, I think it's simple to yeah. do the gizmo beads and it's yeah. really effective. It is. You can't not be good at gizmo, can you? Everybody no, can be I know good what at you gizmo. Mean. I know what you mean. Everybody's good. I've got a gorgeous strand and you're good at everything. And you're always neat and tidy. I mean, in comparison to someone like me, let's say. Mm, well, sort of. Look, you haven't seen I'm... my workroom. Not good. I guarantee. Anyway. I, I bet you it is tidy. Have a look. <laughs> oh, they're lovely. At these pearls. Now, these will go wonderfully with the kit, won't they? Oh, yes, yes, yes. <gasps> they are pretty. Now, Stacey, I know it's your birthday today. Jack's going to sing happy birthday to you in a minute. But I'd like to know how old you are, please. Could you please text back in, Linda? Tell me how old Stacey is, depending on how Jack's going to sing it. <laughs> oh. Are you ready for these gorgeous pearls? They're eight by seven. I'll throw you the baseline, and you can uh, go right in there. Gorgeous freshwater pearls. Now, it would take about four years to cultivate a freshwater pearl. Absolutely. 
they're always elegant. Have a look at these pearls. They've almost got like a double pleasance on them, haven't they? They're very shiny. Have, because I can see pinks and peaches and lilacs and... Very good quality, these pearls, beautiful. aren't they? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They're eight by seven. I just think a real compliment to the kit, Deb. They are, actually. You're quite right. I really like rose quartz and pearls. Oh, That's stunning. It's so... So summer feminine, dress, isn't, isn't it? it? Oh, so pretty. Yes. And the floral summer dresses are going to be everywhere. You just imagine it, a pair of little Mary Jane shoes, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, Those yeah. are Laura Ashley prints. Image, yes, uh, you can see the image of that, can't you? It's lovely. Yeah. Love them. Love pearls. Of course, they're a birth gemstone, June's birth stone. Do you do a lot of birth jewellery? Birth, no. birth jewellery, birth gemstone jewellery. I have done, actually, yes. We keep you busy here, don't you we? You do, actually. I don't have time to do anything else, really. But no, birthstone jewellery will always sell at craft fairs. And if you, you, if you don't want to do birthstone jewellery, then do things like, you know, the... Zodiac stones? Um, yeah, zodiac or? stones or earth, fire, water, that sort of thing, and pick yeah. out things. There's certain stones that go with each each symbol. That's a good idea, yeah. actually. And Have put the history look. of it. Yeah. I'm, I'm a sucker for anything. If someone says I it's know, your zodiac I know, gem, like, right, I want it. it, I want it. If it's lucky for a Taurian, I, I, I've got it. <laughs> Have a look. Numerology, that's what I'm obsessed with at the moment. How are you? Yeah, I love stuff like that. Funny for someone who's so ridiculous with numbers, but yeah. <laughs> Have a look at what you've got. They're beautiful. They're they beautiful. are beyond stunning, aren't they? Very Audrey mm. Hepburn. Mm. Nice I, size as well, those are, actually. I'd always put pearls with something else special. Garnet, peridot, gorgeous. Garnet, garnet mm. and pearls look beautiful They together. really do, they're very rich. You can make the tiara that I'm wearing on my head with these pearls. Yes, you can, actually. Yeah, the same ones are beautiful. Aren't they? Oh, I love them. I love them. Have a look. Almost got like a silky sheen. They have. You can create a pair... Right, so to make a pair of earrings, one pearl in each ear. £15 is about the right price for a pair of pearl earrings. Even if you make them and give your, them to your customers at £10 a pair. And I've, said this, I've said this before, profit. so I'm sorry I'm going to repeat myself. But you could go to work in a nice suit with a string of pearls, come home, go out to dinner with the same string of pearls. I agree, yeah. And it can take you from daytime to nighttime, can't it? To the theatre. Yeah, it can take you anywhere. Oh, have a look at these. I've got to go to the theatre and watch my, um, my little nephew Silas. He's going to be the kid in Madame Butterfly. Oh, really? <laughs> We're oh, so proud lovely. of him. So proud. Have a look. I was talking to him about the radio. Now, you can't nod, Silas, because nobody can see you. He's going, OK, OK. He was on the radio <laughs> yesterday. I didn't hear, I didn't catch it. Have a look, because I was at work. I can't wait to hear all about it. These are the kinds of pearls you'd wear to the theatre. You know, we think about Audrey Hepburn when we think about pearls. We think about class, elegance, sophistication. Kate Middleton wears pearls all the time. Absolutely. The royal family wear pearls all the time. They are so classic, aren't they? SHM G06. Will they be under 20 pounds? Will they be under 10? No. There's a major profit maker, especially if you're creating earrings, because a pair of pearl earrings is the, the staple price. Sterling silver, £15 easily. Let's give you your price tag. There's one PMP all day long. Stock up on as many pearls as you can. We haven't had loads in. Nine ninety-five under a ten. Don't forget, really I've got those good. huge pearls coming up for you later. Great way wow. of making those go even further. Absolutely. There are loads and loads of you on the phone lines for these. There is a queue. They're just £9.95. Already 50 of these have gone on the web and lots and lots of you stacking up on those phone lines. We don't have queues on the web, but it is very, very busy. That doesn't mean to say that they won't sell out because if you don't check your baskets out, somebody on those phone lines could take it with you. Queue of about 50 people on the phone lines right now. So if you are getting an engaged tone, please hang up and redial. For £9.95, these are classic bridal pearls. These are classic elegant pearls. These are anniversary pearls, 21st birthday pearls, very, very special. SHM G06, they're eight by seven and they're absolutely as perfect as they could be, aren't they? Just 
gorgeous. You've got a 30 day money back guarantee, so I would definitely encourage you to multi buy on these. It will go so well with those huge pearls we've got coming up later on for you. We've got some coloured pearls as a little cheeky treat for you later on. Now, I've got a text message to read out. Did we have uh, some Linda text back in to tell me how old Stacey is today? Same age as me, Stace. Well done, 32 today. Now, Jack, I think you should take Stacey out on a date, actually. Come here, Jack, get in here. It will make Stacey's day. Oh, yeah, you have got a girlfriend. Well, let's face it, you've got a new one every other month. You might keep this one, actually. You just seem to like this one, don't we? Yes. I quite yeah. like the sound of her. <laughs> Sing happy like birthday to Stacey, right. Jack. Yeah, yeah. Blow, blow Stacey. Do this. Happy birthday, Stacey. Do it all style. Oh, you're embarrassing yeah. yeah. Let's do a Joey Triviani style. <laughs> Zoom right in. <laughs> oh, Check funny. out the JM boy candy. This is for you, Stace. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Say your name. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Stacy. Oh! Happy birthday oh! to you. Me and Debbie are like, oh. you're wasted. Well you're wasted. Well you done. should be on the stage. Do you know what would have really made it if you'd have come in with your uke? Just, oh, you haven't got it? No, I haven't got it here. Next time. Next time. Stacey. You'll be getting requests from now on, you know that. But uh, yeah. It's not going to be the last Birthday time. Birthday requests with Jack, that's what we should do. <laughs> Stacey, have the most amazing day. Oh, go yes. and fill your belly up with a lovely roast dinner. Uh, now, I'm going to go back over to the centre because I can see some glimmering pie, right? <gasps> I can too. Ooh, I love it. Come on. Come on over, Stacey. I hope you have a lovely day. It's a good age, 32, isn't it? Don't get too depressed, will you? It's fine, it's fine. Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> at what I've got for you right now. Jack, I think you should send Stacey a little signed birthday card. That's what you should do. Have a look at this. <laughs> Be warned, Jack's girlfriend. He's got a following. What's your girlfriend called again? Becky. Becky, that's it. That's a watch. Morning, Becky. Yeah, I like this one. I like that girlfriend. She And you have kept her for a long time, haven't you? Four kept months, her. Four months. It's always talking about you, Becky. All the flipping time. All the time. Becky, Becky, Becky. <laughs> oh, he's in love. Have a look at this. Oh, he is in love. He gave me the thumbs up. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's so romantic. Now, look at this pyrite. Debbie, talk to me. Why do we love pyrite? Because... Oh, excuse me, lifting this up here. Um, because I think everybody's into vintage at the moment. Yeah. So it's not gold, it's not silver, it's just in the middle. And those of us, um, I, I used to wear all gold, because that's what you did years ago. You never gold. mixed it, did no, you? No, never mixed it. And now Why? it's sort of in the middle. And you can put gold, you can put silver with it, and it looks fine. It looks nice with antique gold, and looks, with lots of things. But it just adds that bit of sparkle to your jewellery, but not too much. Not too garish. It's you, not no, garish, it's soft no. and it's antique, and it's very close. It's almost like putting a frame around a picture. It just, it's there, but you don't actually see it. You see what the picture, you see the gemstones. All right. Do you know what I mean? It I doesn't, exactly doesn't overtake what them. It never overtakes, it never overpowers. No, it that's always the right adds word. that luxurious, well, that feeling of class. Because mm. you're right, it's not the painting you look at. It's not the frame you look at, it's the painting. But actually, mm. when you think about it, when you think of a great big grand hall with a wonderful, huge painting of maybe Anne, you know, they, they are these wonderful, great big gold mm. gilded frames, aren't they? Look at these now, you've got silver coated pyrite and classic pyrite. I love these flat squares, they're like pillows, aren't they? 70 carats in your rice beads, those are six by four, 65 carats in your graduated plain rounds. And those are real silver coated. So they've got this wonderful platinum feel to them. And then you've got your puffy squares, they're 10 mil. They're gorgeous. If you've got, do you know what this will go really nicely with? Oh, look. Yeah, you've got to, you've got to have that with the shell. Ooh, gorgeous. Get them in your life. If you've got pearls, 
fantastic. Turquoise, I always think, looks fabulous with pyrite, do you? Let's give you a price tag. Remember your 30 day money back guarantee, three gorgeous strands. HDG safety is the code that you need. The precious pyrite bundle going low. Use your debit card or your credit card to come and grab yours. And don't forget, if you're shopping with us for the very first time, you'll get a free tutorial DVD, a free step-by-step -step book, and a JM Hub magazine for all three strands. I'm just trying to get that price into you ASAP. $13.95. for three strands of It's a great price tag, Debbie. And when you're adding all of that class and luxury to your jewellery, I love these rice beads. These are great spaces, aren't they? They are fabulous, actually. And I think you have to look at that as, as your... As your... How can I say? Look at your gemstones. I think, right, if I can make the money out of the gemstones, and if I can add the pyrite, then they're sort of free, almost. They're like the, the spaces that fill up the spaces in between the colour. No, your gemstones go so much But they further. will actually give more, more um, luxury to your jewellery yeah. and therefore they'll bump the price up for you. They'll pay for themselves time and time again. They really will. They're classic, they're elegant and these are great for ladder weave as well, these rice bead shapes. But you see, I'd make, an, I'd make a piece of jewellery just out of those. Yeah, do you Not know what I think I would as well. I think I'd just have those. Gemma Crow uses metallic kind of gemstones yeah. often yeah, with wire because own. she doesn't want to give no. that she doesn't want to take away from the element of of, of the wire itself the yeah. precious metal itself 13 pounds and 95 pence is your price tag the precious pyrite bundle i've got another bundle coming up for you now i've got some colorful pearls i promised you some colorful pearls but not just pearls because you get this is a fab bundle isn't it you've got your beading um, thread, you've got your elastic and your monofilament, you've got 10 organza gift bags, all different colours, silver, red, pink, purple, black, orange, green and gold. Two strands of pearls, you also get your bracelet board, sorry I banged my mic then. Got your bracelet board and your necklace board. All of this. So these boards are important because if you're jewellery making, you've got to be a certain length. Then you use these boards because they've got all the measurements around them. Now, you know what? You can sort all your gemstones out into their correct order. They're just so handy, Debbie, to have, aren't they? Well, they are because if you're doing your jewellery and somebody comes to the front door, always at the wrong time, or the phone goes, and you've just got them on a beading mat on your lap. They just go everywhere. So at least you can pick that up and put it onto your table and think, well, I'll come back another time. Or if inspiration has gone on that design, you think, OK, I'll use my second bead mat and I'll start making something else because I've got quite a few stacked up. Have you? Yeah. So they, and, and you know what? They stack up really neatly. This is really good to have because it's got all of the measurements in there for you. So the standard neck, uh, bracelet measurements, you've got a smaller bracelet, six and a half inches. I always go about seven inches with mine. Then you can make them larger, seven and three quarters. And you've got the six inch there too. That's also good for bending wire around. It is, isn't it? Not just Getting measuring the, the bracelet, circle. yeah. It's the really cuff good. The style bracelets yeah. out of this. I always go for the larger one if I'm doing that because they always yeah. tend to get smaller the yeah. more detail you add to them. Don't forget you've got those two strands of pearls as well, the organza gift bags. These are genuine freshwater organic pearls, and I think these remind me of proms. If you're going to do prom style jewellery, they're fab for proms, bridesmaids. I think girls want to have fun jewellery. Don't you reckon? I mean, they're fun, they're girly. Cocktail pearls, if you like. And who doesn't love a cocktail? Strawberry daiquiri. Yum, yum, yum. See, the only thing about strawberry daiquiri is I can drink that like a normal drink. They're like a big slush puppy for adults. CEG, C70, Sprig of Mint. I mean, it's just got that fabulous feel about it. They make you happy, they're fun, they're colourful, they're summer evening barbecue party. Go into your, your friend's barbecues. Oh, it's Debbie, we're gonna have barbecues in the garden. That'd be nice. The summer. Oh. I love the summer. And I do. 
I do love a barbecue. This is why it's reminding me of summer nights. Love it. CEG, CE70 is the item code you need. So you've got the two bead boards, the 10 organza gift bags. You've got two strands of genuine fresh water pearls. You've got your monofilaments. You've got your beading thread. And you've got your clear elastic. The pearls are eight by seven. This is the ultimate colour pearl bundle. Let's give you your price tag. You've got a 30 day, no questions asked, money back guarantee, all for under 15 pounds. You should be paying that just for the pearls alone. You get everything else for free. Isn't it fantastic? So, so luscious to have you company here today at Jewelry Maker. Don't forget to get interactive with us on Facebook. You can click to like our Facebook page, it's facebook.com. Follow us on Twitter, it's at Jewelry Maker. Or come follow me at Ginevra, J-E-N-E-V-R-A. I love to have you company. And send us a text in 60777 James Studio, followed by your message. Absolutely fabulous. Leatherette holder next. I love the word leatherette. It's great, isn't it? Leatherette. Fancy. I still have to smell it to check it's not leather. Because oh, I'm weird. Right, this is essential for jewellery making if you're doing, um, well, if you're selling your jewellery on, you want to display it beautifully, don't you? I mean, we use them all the time. Great for just, you know what? Sometimes you just want to place those strands over the top. Have a look. Now, Debbie, if you're selling your jewellery on and you want to take pictures of jewellery that you made, these are perfect for that, aren't they? They are, but not just if you're just selling your jewellery. Even in your bedroom, if you want to keep your jewellery nice and neat and tidy. Definitely. And if they look nice, then you'll wear them more often, won't you? I absolutely agree with that. I think you put it away, you can sometimes forget about it. Mm. You can you forget, you forget what you've got, yeah. But also, I always think it's in the display. If you're doing, say you're doing a jewellery phone, you've got everything flat on a table, somebody walks in, what makes your jewellery stand out? If it's lead there, you need to place it on something like this, raise it up from the table, take it to their eye line, and really make a feature out of your jewellery, out of your display table. You know when you're stood up in your display, don't just leave it flat, because you can't see it. Now, you've got this, it's, it's a luxury, to have, isn't it, on your jewellery table when you're going to parties, you want to take everything out and put it all together. Maybe you want to put a little label, you've got a certain price tag, maybe you want to buy a couple of these. If you go to that craft store and try and buy one of these, you'd be looking at about £15. We're not going to charge you anywhere near that price tag. NAT BBO is your item code. Get yourself dialing for this one. It's great for you if you've got lots of spring fairs booked. It's great for you if you're going, like I said, to jewellery parties. They're very compact. You can take them with you. You can display your jewellery in a professional manner. Like Debbie said, even if you don't sell your jewellery, fabulous for your dressing table. Great if you're photographing your jewellery for websites as well. We spoke to Jo last night, who was a brand new designer, and Jo just only sells her jewellery online. Facebook page, websites, you know what? Photograph it properly. Make it look incredible. <gasps> Are you ready? Six pounds and 95 pence. It's crazy. Now I've got some gorgeous strands coming up for you. You need to be on the phone lines quickly. Debbie just went... <gasps> Oh, if you put that with the pyrite, I'm sorry, Jack, before you take it away, if you put that with the pyrite bundle, I oh. mean, for goodness sake, that wasn't the best kit of last year or something like that? Black and pyrite, or was it just pyrite oh, or something? Oh, I love it. Just pyrite. I mean, look at those. Oh. They're very luxurious, <gasps> aren't they? 6.95 yes. is for the stand. Oh, these blacks are good. Yeah, and do you know what? You have to have them in your stash. You've got to have them in your stash. Look. They go with everything. They complement everything that you've got in your stash. Absolutely beautiful. Now, black gemstones, you will always, always use. That one's gone. Have a look. With that orange, now look how bright this is. Look at the black and the orange together. It's striking. Oh, I love it. Now, Debbie, mm -hmm. black gemstones, how many do you think you've got in your stash? <laughs> Loads. I've got a whole box dedicated to black. I've just a big box with lots of different sections in it. Do you I... think most of your jewellery includes a couple of pieces of black or...? 
Usually black, pyrite or hematite, yeah. Those three things. They go together beautifully, don't yeah, they? Yeah, those three. Now look, this has got to be, I haven't got any of the details. I know it's gold and obsidian, look. They're playing rounds, they're 12 mil. I just knew straight away, even though I didn't have, I knew. Beautiful Brazilian obsidian. I love the sparkles coming from these fast food rounds of black agate. They're 14 mil. I like rings made out of these. I love earrings made out of these. I love them with gold. I love them with silver. They look elegant. And look at the twisted beads. These are fan. Fantastic in drop earrings with a head pin at the bottom. Mm. Doesn't matter what colour the metal is, it will always, always go. Use loads of them, cascade in a Debbie style tassel. They will look wonderful. This is your Jet Black collection and they are essentials. You will use these so, so often. We're talking about stash builders here. We're talking about elegance here. We're talking about absolute glamour here. You can create all of those different looks and more with this three strand pack, WTGC60 is your item code. Of course, you know you've got a 30 day money back guarantee with absolutely everything that you buy with us here at Jewelry Maker. So, so fantastic to have you on board this morning. Look at those colors. Absolutely wonderful. <sighs> I've just, I can't, I can't. My goodness me. I've got to touch it. That is just. Jack's just put something. <gasps> Come on. Oh, wow. They're like gorgeous. Oh. Oh, All together wow. with that. Oh, please, yes. Look at that. <gasps> Where did these come from? What is that shape? They're like icicles. Oh, I love them. They're beautiful. That with the sparkly pyrite and that and the oh oh yes. It's part of a limited edition bundle I've got coming up for you that you are going to need in your life. It's coming up next. Let's give you a price tag for these. WTG C60, eleven pounds and ninety-five pence. You've got three wonderful gemstone strands. Great opportunity here. What a wonderful mix of different shapes and sizes. All the same colour, but you need them in your stash, don't you? Well done to everybody that's got theirs. Stay where you are. Now I'm going to have to give you... Can I do it now, now, now? That's how impatient I am. Debbie Bulford. Oh, come Aren't they on. they got those seed beads as well? You've got that smoky oh quartz. All goodness. the different shades of smoky quartz. The pearls. I want it. I want it. Are you serious? Can you imagine? I can't focus. Very fine wire, just all, all around one of those. A pendant, they're all pendants. Very just just be pendant quiet now. Stop own. it, stop it, because I can't read it. Am I up. teasing you? Look at these, Debbie. It's better Ooh. than chocolate, this. Look at this. Oh. Mm, I forgot now. Oh, I need it. You need, oh, we've, only, we've got less than 50 of these. Have we seen this before? Is it brand new? Talk to me about it. I don't know anything. I love it. I'm losing my voice over this, look. I love it. I've seen this smoky quartz strand before and I really like that you get every single shade of smoky. But it's, it's all about that, it's all about that quartz. White quartz, oh, believe me, it's brand new. Now, there are less than 50 of these. This strand here is super duper limited. We only had 50 of this strand, so we have only got 50 of the bundle to make up. Now, if you look at these, they're top drilled. I'm mean, sorry, Claire. Now have a look. Sorry, I'm getting overexcited about these. The, the shape, the size, everything, everything. The individuality of each one, the fact they're top drilled, everything to adore and more. <gasps> Mark Smith, I bet that's you on the phone lines. I know it is. Look at these. Debbie, oh, don't look like that. Don't do that face. I want one. Oh, she's doing that face my kids do when they want something. <laughs> and I've said no, and then I go, oh, of course you can have it. Oh, can we give one of these to Debbie? Look no, at the No, 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 don't be silly. Those would look nice with, um, we had some rough tourmaline on the other day. Black tourmaline, have you seen that rough cut tourmaline? <gasps> they look like, like the charcoal. Yes. Mm, yeah, mm. I have seen that, I love it. One of those standout strands. Oh, yeah. Oh, sneak. Look, Debbie, you're going to have to learn to be a bit more like me. 
and just walk out with it. You have to learn to be more of a tea leaf. <laughs> right, let's get the price down there for you because these are going to sell out any second now. You need them, don't you? Aren't they gorgeous? $15.95? No way. You've got freshwater organic pearls. You've got... Oh, it's gone. It's sold out. Unbelievable. <laughs> Don't take it away. Oh. oh, Debbie, don't cry. Come on, take it away from Debbie. It's teasing her. Come on, come on. It's like being told you're never allowed to eat chocolate again. And then watching someone stuff their faces with a bar of whole nut. That's what that feels like, isn't it, Debbie? It is. When you're on one of those stupid diets and everyone around you is eating brilliant food. Like Yorkshire puddings. Ugh. <sighs> oh, I've got the creme de la creme of Kunzite here, and it's time for it now. Go and have a look at a Kunzite ring. Go and have a look at the collections of the likes of Al Pretty for Tiffany & Co. <sighs> Kunzite is a gemstone that you will find in the high thousands at Cartier. It's a gemstone that you'll find at Bulgari. It's a gemstone that you'll find by all those Bond Street jewelers. Kunzite is a gemstone that was in the Jacqueline Nassis collection. It's a gemstone that we regard as super special. It was founded in the early 1900s by George Frederick Kuntz, who's the same chap who discovered Morganite. It's a very Tiffany & Co gemstone. It's a gemstone that is absolutely associated with romance. And when we think about those old classic Hollywood movies, think about Gone with the Wind, think about any Marilyn Monroe classic movies. She was a big fan of this gemstone as well. Elizabeth Taylor, Some Like It Hot, I love that film. The classic Hollywood gemstone. Also think about Doris Day, think of the further back, Doris Day, you know, the real romantic era, Doris Day and Elizabeth Taylor. And think about the dresses they used to wear. Think about the romantic stories. All those stories, all those films were always centered around a whirlwind romance, weren't they? And it reminds me, this gemstone, of that whirlwind romance it's got that element of love and luxury and beauty and femininity absolutely stunning a gemstone that was founded in Pala California and it's just incredible Kunzite with clarity is something we have never ever seen here at Jewelry Maker I'm gonna be honest with you I know these are gonna sell out I'm gonna be really honest with you actually this is never going to be a strand that you'll ever see under £30. It's, it isn't. So if that's the kind of strand you want, you're going to have to wait for a gemstone strand with Kunzite with less clarity, more inclusions. This is a gemstone strand of luxury for your high-end pieces. This is for you if you want to create jewellery that's going to be a high price tag. This is for you if you want to create jewellery that's going to be a ring, a pendant, something special. This is for you if you consider yourself somewhat of a gemstone collector. It's for you if you want luxury. It's for you if you want a gemstone strand with clarity, beauty. It's the finest strand, the finest strand of Kunzite we have ever, ever had the utter pleasure to bring you here at Jewelry Maker. Now, I would use these sparingly, I would. I would put them with the big pearls, absolutely. They would definitely be going in my special collection. They are definitely going with my bridal collections. I'm gonna be honest with you, they're never gonna be a tiny price tag ever, and I don't want you, I don't wanna mislead you in any way. These are for you if you wanna create something special. Debbie, when we're talking about Kunzite, it is a gemstone we don't often see here. I mean, with this quality, it's the best quality we've ever had here at Jewelry Maker, ever, fact. Oh, it's beautiful, it's absolutely stunning, and it isn't something you see every day. And it is something that you have to sort of educate people if they come to your stand or, or your selling, give the history of it and what have you. It, but it is the most beautiful feminine stone. It's one it's of my all-time favorites, oh, is Kunzite. Just, it's just stunning, absolutely stunning. No pink does it like Kunzite. No. no pink touches this gemstone quite like Kunzite. Let's give you a price tag as soon as we can. Now I'm going to carry on talking about how wonderful this gemstone is, how it's going to change your jewellery. At £34.95. You know what? This is a great buy for you. If you're going to create a pair of Kunzite earrings, at least £40 for those. Just to give you a little bit of... Um, a comparison, if you were to go out there and buy Kunzite from Cartier or from Tiffany & Co or from any of the Bond Street jewellers, we're talking about small 
carat weights for big, big money. Thousands and thousands of pounds. It's, it feels like one of the unreachables. It, what, it is in the Onassis collection. Jacqueline Onassis had a, a Kunzite ring that was given to her by John FK. And have a look at it. I mean, just look at that clarity. 34 pounds. And 95 pence for Kunzite. A pleasure to bring you. NZJ N56. I will count them for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 Kunzite gemstones. One ring, £35 easily. That's £3 per Kunzite. If you're shopping for these anywhere else, you'd be paying at least £10 each. At least. Just think about pounds. Um, Valentine's Day coming up. You've got somebody special you want to make a piece of jewellery for. It's one of those special ones. Mm. It is. It I is mean, it is a special. special gemstone. It's one you are going to use sparingly. Yeah. But if you do use it heavily, there's going to be a big price tag behind it. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you've got one of those special projects in mind, this is the gemstone strand for you. Now, don't move a muscle because right now, we are going to go over to have a look at your designs. Oh, let's do the bundle before that, shall we? Let's do, let's do the bundle first. I've got rose quartz for you. There's a real depth of colour. If perhaps the Kunzite was out of your price range and you're just thinking, I need pink, I need pink, here you go. I think these will look beautiful with your Amazonite. Aren't those fabulous? I love that. Kissed by a rose, I like that name. What about... Beautiful. Kissed by a rose. Mm -hmm. God. Oh, I love that. There's something so feminine. Of course there is about rose quartz. And you know what? When you sell rose quartz on, it's never a hard sell because everybody knows it. And you know, in the summertime, it's all about the greys and the pinks. Aren't they fab? Debbie, do you use a lot of rose quartz? Um, I didn't until I started working here. I remember Lucy going on about Rose Court saying it's a sign of friendship. And it's nice to put that into a piece of jewellery if you're giving it to somebody. So it's a sign of friendship. It's really, never really heard sweet. That. I really like that mm. sentiment. Jewellery is very sentimental, isn't it? It is. It is. It's special. Mm. Isn't that lovely? I mean, if you were to make your best friend a piece of jewellery, nothing is as special as a friend, is it? Kiss by a rose, 590 carats. Now these should be 11.95. That's a wonderful price, isn't it? That's the price tag. That's the price tag that we're supposed to be going at. Oh, you're, she's a rebel though. We're gonna take it down. Two strands of gorgeous pink rose quartz. And I know you're in a, in a pink mood and I know perhaps the Kunzite might have been a little bit out of some people's price range. Here's a little treat for you. We don't like you missing out. Here you go. The ovals and the rounds. Two strands for £9.95. And think about what you're creating here. Think about the fact you've got wire wrappable ovals. Think about the fact, it, actually, Debbie, these would be great on the end of a chainmail bracelet. Oh, you they do would. rounds either end of a chainmail bracelet, don't you? Absolutely, yes. They would look stunning with chainmail. And they always do them in the complement, the silver with the chainmail. And I have got a, a chainmail um, workshop coming up on the 12th. <gasps> on the 12th. So there are spaces on that. So. I think Mark Smith's coming to that, isn't he? Oh, is he? In. Yeah, I think he is. Oh, jolly good. He wants to learn chain mail. Have a look. So get yourself booked in on that one. £9.95 is your price tag. Now, don't move a muscle. It's time for Debbie and I to have a look at your designs on the Wall of Fame. <coughs> Wow, oh. oh, oh, lovely. Love those ears. Fantastic, lovely. 757, it's from Carol in Doncaster, and she says, hi to everyone at JM, I'm still very new to this wonderful hobby, and thought this set made for my sister, who I love loads, Oh. Aww. Might be appropriate with Valentine's Day fast approaching. It is one of my first efforts and was actually made for Christmas, but hey-ho, the same sentiment applies, laugh out loud. The little Labradorite beads shine away beautifully and the green quartz rondelles are her favourite colour. Mine too. 
I like your sister. Uh, love the show. <laughs> Such a wealth of gorgeous gems on offer. And with inspiration from all the talented guest designers, I'm hooked. Just want to say a big thank you to you all. Thank you, Carol, because this is beautiful. I love Labradorite too, and I love those beautiful. earrings. Oh, that's gorgeous. Easy to wear, that's mm. it. I love that. Very 757, nice. good luck. This is number 754. This is, I'm very envious of people that can do this because I get in a real knot with the wire. It gets dreadful. Do you? Yeah, I do. This is from Helen in Dorset. Um, here's my to the Wall of Fame. I haven't sent one in for a while, but rest assured, I still watch every day, still addicted. Uh, oh, this is look my, at that. This is a pendant made from one of my uh, latest, latest purchases. Purple... Castle pyrite. That's the pyrite. What I was talking yeah, to you about, puffy yeah. ovals and antique bronze wire. As you can tell, wire at work is my latest passion, mm. and I'm in the process of working my way through a book. Halfway through. Love Ooh. the show. Keep it up from Helen in Dorset. It's a good idea, actually, if you want to try something. Start at the beginning and work through. Definitely. Buy yourself a book. Stop and start. Seven, five, six. Love these little coils. Love the pearls. Love, love, love it. That chain is obviously your own, let me see, from Sarah Sorry. in Gateshead. Uh, this necklace is an African opal, ooh, with pearl and clear quartz charms, all from JM except the snake chain. Hope you like it. I think we need to do more chain. I'd like to see, I think we're going to see more chain on like big reels like we have uh, the wire on. Oh, well, That'd we? be nice, wouldn't it? Number That'd seven, five, six. Yeah, well, we need it, don't we? Seven, five, oh, six. Yeah. Really good. This is number 753. Look oh, at look this. Look at the floor. It's fabulous. <gasps> uh, I hope I've got the right address. I just wanted to share with you the latest piece I've finished. It took about six hours to do. Oh, do you know what? Yeah. Surprise. Uh, what I did was build up the piece using very small fluorite nuggets and purple fluorite balls alongside some pearlescent clear balls. I topped it with two large amethyst nuggets and 14 millimetre purple agate spheres. It's held on a chunky copper chain. I enjoyed making this piece so much mm. because I was choosing each little bit carefully and going where the gems took me. Um, regards and good luck with the show from Julia in Fife in Scotland. That is beautiful. And she's right, you let, you take, you, when you do something like this, the gems tell you where they want to go. You, they just, you just know where to put them. It's beautiful. They really they are love, gorgeous. We're going to go to a very quick break. We're going to be back with a strand of absolute luxury. Do not move a muscle. Join jewellery maker and specialist guest designer Debbie Bulford for a fun and relaxing day discovering the addictive appeal of chainmail. This workshop is ideal for beginners and will introduce the fundamentals of this art form. You will be guided through a range of beginner's weaves and learn how to create your own Byzantine bracelet and earring set. The full course includes a pack of 200 jump rings, a toggle clasp, a pair of shepherd hook earrings, the chainmail tutorial DVD, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studio and a chance to meet the presenters, and take a visit to our gem museum. All this for just £74.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Once the gemstones leave the laboratory, it's then down to the quality control process. This is a really stringent process, which is completed by Ravi and by Ithaca. Random strands are taken from each one of the lots, and you get the average size, carat weight, and length of each strand. And this is done so that you know the information that you see on your screens is correct. Have a look at this strand of absolute excellence. Beautiful citrine from the Gems of Distinction collection. The clarity is incredible. 
I'd love to see the style crocheted. It's coming up later on in today's show. You need to hold tight for that one. Now, I'm going to launch our most luxurious kit of the day. The Labradorite quality is beyond excellent. Now, am I right in thinking that this, this one has been graded A-graded? Have a look. You can see the purples, you can see the reds, you can see the greens, and you can see the golds. It's fantastic. Look at this strand. Every single piece of Labradorite leaping out at you with that flash of Labradorescence lightning. If you are majorly inspired by Gemma Crow, and I know that I am, I think this kit, because of the mesh, would be right up Gemma's street. Now look at this sunstone, dove grey sunstone. I want you to get close to this gemstone because everybody here today at the on the Sunday experience has said that sunstone has been the gemstone that's leapt out at them. Uh, we don't, we can't capture it on screen. I don't know what it is. It, it, seriously, when you see it in the flesh, it's far more beautiful. Even though you can see that incredible shiller right there, can't you? It's like a moon, a big moon. You can almost picture that wolf howling. The labradorite and the sunstone work together in absolute harmony and luxury. You've also got your pyrite, silver-coated pyrite. Beautiful, luxurious, not just that, the mesh. Now, when you see what Debbie's created, Debbie's an absolute genius with mesh. Well, she's an absolute genius anyway, we all know that. A very talented jewellery maker. You've got your ribbon, your purple, your grey and your white. You've also got your waxed cord, two metres of that. Possibilities with macrame, possibilities with the knotted necklaces. You've got your stainless steel and your purple. You've got your purple elastic, your stainless steel beading wire. Now you get extra of the ribbon ends. You've got loads of those. How many in total? Let me have a look. You've got do, 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 12 of these. So you've got loads. Now this is a very, very luxurious kit. You've got 10 organza gift bags in purple. And you've got 100 elements of your silver findings. Now let's, let's talk about this because your mesh alone is usually about 8.95. Your labradorite and your sunstone are very, very big gemstones in terms of, they're, they're some of our most expensive at this quality. And you've got the pyrite there as well. So if you were to buy this Labradorite, this A-graded Labradorite on its own, it should be $12.95. You've got the mesh as well. If you were to buy each individual element, we'd be talking about the best part of £80. Have a look at the quality of this sunstone. I'm not going to charge you £80 today though. You've got your mesh. It's our most luxurious kit of the day. I know you're going to need it in your life, especially when you see what Deb has created. Think about those gorgeous pal shell leaves that will look fabulous. It's called Woman of Steel. I love that. 65 carats of gunmetal pyrite. 150 carats of Labradorite plain rounds. It's called Labradorite Luxury. Here, why have I got Woman of Steel on mine? Is that not what I... That's me, is it? I'm a woman of steel. Woman of steel. 240 carats of grey sunstone. You've got your purple elastic, your purple wax cord, your organza gift bags, your organza ribbon. Unbelievable. You've got purple, silver and white organza ribbon and the 12 lobster claw clasp ribbon ends and a metre. Hang on, I haven't got the... Oh, yeah, I have. A metre of your wire. Are you ready for a fantastic price tag? Our most luxurious kit of the day so far. 100 findings going majorly low. 29.95. You've got over 80 pounds worth of elements in this kit. So this is a fabulous deal for you at under 30 pounds. We're going to go and have a look at Debbie's jewelry. DCG C56 is your item code. Well done to everybody that's already on those phone lines now.
We're going to show you all of Debbie's fabulous designs, and I cannot wait to have a look at all the jewellery that she's made. Uh, one of our one of our best designers. Oh, you're very sweet. Debbie I'll is the, she's the later, queen, queen of jewellery. Oh, no, I'm 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 a big a plan, fan of playing with this. I like making it in the when it goes all skinny like that. I like doing that. Yeah. <gasps> This is so amazing, this kit. Mesh is beautiful. Oh, I opened this kit and I thought, I'm sure I've got the wrong person. Gemma should have this, actually. No, you because, and... Um, I, I'm wonderful. really You're inspired wonderful by women. Gemma. She's amazing. She's just such a, an amazing designer. Her designs, you look at them and you just think, where did she get that from? It's amazing. But they're Her still wearable. Mind. That's what I like. Oh, yeah. Um, look but at I this. wanted to make just a little flower, which that is crazy is to do. That is beautiful, Debbie. It's beautiful. Um, just a simple little flower, which mm. is really, really easy to do. And then I just I wanted to make something in the three strands, and I thought, I don't want to use the chandelier findings. I want to do something different, and that's what made me think about that. I actually saw a bracelet with, with that done, but with leather, and I thought, I wonder if it's strong enough to do that with the mesh. It's a very Roman goddess piece. It is. I love it. It is. It's really nice that you like that very, very much. I absolutely mm. love it. Who's that beautiful girl on the film Gladiator? The one that falls in love with him at the end. The sort of thing she'd wear. Don't love that film. Yeah, she's got like a real, a gorgeous strapless maxi dress, white. Oh, beautiful. Goddess. Mm. I love it. Cheers. Lovely. Oh, I, I, I love just it. think uh, the, the shiller on this, mm. I was doing it. Making it with jewellery the other night, and my husband looked over and went, oh, I just saw a flash, because he's not really into jewellery that much, but he just said, I just saw a flash come from that. I said, Yeah, I know. Yeah. Have you seen this before? And I went into all the stuff, I felt like a presenter saying, I'm well, selling you know, it to just... him. <laughs> I do that all the time. <laughs> Leo's like, Stop uh, selling me okay, gemstones. All right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's nice, it's nice, it's nice. Get, yeah, okay. <laughs> the, me, the, but Mia does that. She'll come in and go, I like that. And I'll go, Yeah, do you know what this is, yeah. Mia? It's a brilliant gemstone that comes from blah, blah. And she's like, Oh, I wish I hadn't bothered. <laughs> Look at this. And the mesh is fantastic, it really is. And I love that you've put the balls in there as well. You've kept on, very a la Gemma Crow, kept with the metallic theme on that one. I wanted just to keep it really simple. What did and you then, think of then, the gemstones? Oh, the gemstones were just gorgeous. I mean, you, just wonderful. Today, you've had some stunning, stunning gemstones We've on. We've had you really some gifts, have haven't some we? Some really, really lovely ones. But can I just say, I don't know why there's purple thread in there. Well, actually, but there you I go. don't so know I kept why, it, but what you've done is something I completely, completely outside of the, of the box. Just lots and lots of Celtic knots. But anyway, I did look at it and thought, I've got to use this, but what am I going to do? But I kept it away from the Labradorite. Cause I didn't know Claire's things make a nice anklet. Yeah, actually. Good thinking it's there. Good. When you get those little extra elements, you don't have to use them all together. No. Use them like Debbie's done here, but make something really different. Maybe you're making a really nice boutique collection. This would be for your summer fates and things yeah. like that, yeah. wouldn't it? it it's would. nice to have those little extras. You it get is. loads of findings, love the long earrings. I just have got, I, which one? Oh, yeah, yeah, the, there's a, I just didn't well. use the chain at all. I had all the chain left over, so I thought, what can I do with it? So I just put into dangly earrings, because those are everywhere, chain earrings at the moment. Lots a lot of chain of everywhere. And then I had some jump rings left over, that's why I did those earrings, just with a stripper chain and some jump rings at the bottom. I like that look, just to weigh them down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Now, which technique are you going to show us? Uh, this one here. Because, for those people who have joined us so that who are pretty new, I wanted to show you how to use the, um, the fastening at the back for mm -hmm. ribbons and cords, which is a good which thing Which I'm going to show you, I'm just going to turn that around. Just to show you how neat and tidy they can look. With your, um, with your mesh, your mesh. Um, and also how to do the front. Now, when you're strengthening this um, mesh wire, the best thing to use is PVA glue. PVA P glue? PVA glue, if you put PVA glue onto this... When you're this, strengthening this? This. If you want to do something like that, you see that end bit's quite firm, isn't it? If you touch it... Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's PVA. PVA. Yeah. I've you got use that. that overnight. You've got kids. You've got PVA Absolutely. glue. Absolutely. Everyone's got PVA glue. Yeah. And all I did was just just fold it over once, fold it over twice. So you've then got a nice neat edge. Yes. Pop some PVA glue underneath. That was easy. And they will go clear. It will go clear. It won't come. Even if it comes through, it doesn't really matter. Oh no. It, it will go clear, clear and it will go solid. That's what I use on my macrame bracelets as well. I usually put half PVA. half PVA, half water, and paint the whole thing. To keep it in place. To keep it in place. So it doesn't that's, unlock. That's, that bracelet there is painted with half PVA 
and half water. It's yeah. firm, isn't it? It's absolutely what a good solid. Tip. Absolutely solid. But it's not going to so, slip out of place. No. So all you do is this is so easy. It takes seconds. All you do is is you decide how many um, uh, little strands you want coming off. This is actually out of Natalia's kit. I couldn't find a bead ream. I, I had a little bit of So you pinch Natalia's. One. Why yes, not? I'm sorry. Why not? So all you do is just literally make three holes. I love Natalia. She's lovely, isn't she? She makes me laugh. She's Wicked bananas. Wicked sense of humour. Oh, brilliant. She's the sort of girl you want to go for a glass of wine with, isn't she? Yeah. She's a giggle. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And then you just push that through the hole. I mean, that's all there is to it. There's nothing else to it at all. So once you've stiffened the edge of the, of the cord, you just make a hole, put your ring through it, and then you've got something to hang off your your threads. And they will be really, really firm. That won't rip, it won't pull once it's firm, OK? Mm -hmm. So going to the other end, when you're dealing with these, um, these endings, make sure that you have enough in there for the uh, purchase to, to actually hold it. Because if you, if you put cord in and just put a couple of strands, unless you do a knot on the end of it, if anybody tugs, it will just come out. Yeah. So make sure that you've put enough inside to catch. Uh, the to, to catch. Tooth. There's a yes. little tooth in there, isn't Absolutely. there? Absolutely. Yeah. So what I would do with this is fold it into three, fold one half over, okay. then fold the other half over, so you've got like a tube, yeah. right? and then put that in. Don't just fold it in half or, or twist it or what have you. And then the little tooth at the end will grab onto all yeah, three so layers. Yeah, push it down so that it yeah, get catches. It will grab onto all three layers. Now, what I would also do, don't forget, this mesh is wire. So all of this will be really scratchy on the back of your oh, neck. Oh, so what do we do about all that? Right. Trim it down to as far as you possibly can, and then coat that in PVA, PVA glue. glue. I thought you were going to say that. And then, actually, yeah. I can't cut it without it with scissors. Um, then coat that in PVA glue, just take off all the edges. And that will like put a plastic coating over the top. Yeah. And then you won't have any trouble with any scratches. Aha. All right. Yeah. You won't see Thank it. You. It's it will so look like neat. nothing's on it, but it's nice and neat and tidy. Can okay. I just show everybody your flower? <laughs> Was that hard to do? No. Ever so simple. Half of the entire stock of this kit has gone and sold mm. out. Look at that beautiful flower. Now you can create texture with this mesh. If you've just tuned in, you get everything with a kit, apart from your tools. So you can get, if you've got the tool kit, which is just 9 95 as long as you've got the right tools, you can start creating any of what Debbie's done right here, or your own take on Debbie's designs. These will go, of course, onto Facebook afterwards, and you'll be able to have a look again at Debbie's techniques on uh, YouTube. By the show, they'll go straight on YouTube. Do you want me to give you an idea how to do that, Flair? I would Take love seconds, to. Yes, honestly. please, please. Can I right. show it on the overhead? Yeah. Because so, I, I love it. I think it's so effective. All you do is, this is take seconds, literally seconds. All you do is you go along your, your mesh like yeah, that. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. I know I can. So that's yeah. the outer petal. This is the inner petal. What? That's as simple as it is. This is all it Come is. Come on. So you go like that and you fold it over. But before you fold it over, you get your monofilament and you do a running stitch the middle and then when you get to as many petals as you want you pull it up and it goes into the flower you clever there. little duck so that's one part of the wire and that's the other part how simple is that and it stays in shape because it's obviously wire and these are so head pins in the middle with the I like that feet. that's what adds that fabulous it's all real touch. To, mm -hmm. I, I love it. So easy, it's so Ever ornamental, so isn't it? It's yeah. beautiful. That labradorite is incredible. It is. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. The sunstone as well. Beautiful. This is such a luxurious mm. kit. It's such a beautiful kit. At twenty nine ninety five, you got yourself an absolute bargain. You should be paying over eighty pounds. DCG C fifty six is the code that you need. It's called labradorite luxury. Now I'm going to go, but I can see so many strands of distinction coming up for you. We've got such an array of gorgeousness today. Let's go on back over to the middle, leave Debbie to okay. a challenge. Thank you so much. Now, if you're inspired by Debbie's designs today, please don't forget to interact with us via Facebook or come and send us a text. 60777 JM Studio, followed by your message. Now, we're going to go with those big pearls. Now, pearls to me definitely have a, a special place in my mind. I love them. I think they're absolutely stunning and beautiful. Big South Sea pearls are a dream, aren't they? We dream of owning South Sea pearls. Now, 
I fell in love with pearls at a very young age when I watched Breakfast at Tiffany's for the first time. And you remember seeing that poster of Audrey Hepburn and seeing the film where she had that most amazing, the pearls, they're just beautiful and they're elegant. And you know what, it, it makes you think, you know, you could be wearing the simplest of dress and you just add a frosting of pearls and suddenly your outfit looks so much more expensive. Suddenly you look so classy. Big pearls like this take about eight years to cultivate. Big pearls like this we do not see often here at Jewelry Maker. Big pearls like this belong in your high-end collection. I would absolutely be making a big bracelet, a big necklace. I'd absolutely make a ring out of these. I'd keep it simple, I really would. One of my favorite pieces of jewelry is a Golden South Sea Pearl pendant. Now a Golden South Sea Pearl pendant, one pearl, about this size, will cost you at least, at least 200 pounds. Now I want you to imagine, you don't have to be gemstone heavy with this in a necklace. I would actually treat these like South Sea pearls and they would be pendants. Simple, fine, sterling silver chain, one big pearl on the end. And you could charge 40, 50 pounds for that easily. Don't ever, ever undersell your pearls. Remember how long it's taken for these to cultivate. We should be giving you this strand for 29.95. It's very limited edition. These are the biggest pearls we have in stock. When we get an 11 mil pearl, they don't stay around for long. Add that touch of elegance, that Chanel, breakfast at Tiffany's, expensive look to your jewelry making collection or YGM G93. Let's give you a price tag, 11 millimeters. You're on the phones for these for under 20 pounds. You need them, 19.95. Debbie, when we're talking about pearls of this size, would you use them, you know, like I said, as a pendant, like the South Sea pearl pendants we see? You could do. You could do a pendant and then do some chain from it with, with lots of smaller pearls underneath. That would look stunning oh. like the tassel. What about those tiny weeny pearls we had oh, earlier? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that'd be gorgeous. Beautiful. I'd really use these sparingly, I would. Mm, I would, actually. Yes, you I would. You don't see pearls this size, no. do you? No, you, you just don't. don't. Maybe some pearl stud type earrings. That'd be nice. Or very Audrey Hepburn, a little tiny drop on them. Just, yeah, just on dangle. the end of a head pin or something beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. They're so luxurious. Do you know what I mean? That classic breakfast at Tiffany's Pose where she has the um, cigarette holder and she's got her hair up and she's wearing her gorgeous pearls and she looks a million dollars. Absolutely. Stunning. And it's the pearls. It is. It's the it pearls is. and the way she does her hair. Just looks so expensive. Now these are about to go limited. You need to be very quick and check your basket yeah. yourself for under £20. I'd say these are some of the finest pearls we've ever had the privilege to bring you here at Jewelry Maker. Make sure you're checking out baskets. Now I'm going to bring you... I love those. I love them. For under £20. It's a steal. When you think about how much you would pay if that was a necklace, that's at least £100 in a necklace, isn't it? All stranded up. Now, this crackle quartz... Actually, this is a new strand, and it's not just crackle quartz. You've got both. You've got the clear quartz and the crackle quartz in one strand. So this is a stash builder. Have a look. So, intermittently, one of these has no crackles, the other has crackles. Have a look. See? I've never seen a strand like that, have you? One clear, recently, one crackle. I've, I've seen a couple of strands recently. We're getting some really different things in, which is lovely. I like that. Sometimes you can't decide if you want the clear or no. the crackled. So this is great. Now, crackle quartz and clear quartz. Debbie, do you use these often? I do. Again, they're, they're like um, a neutral backdrop, aren't they, really? They're your bread and butter gemstones, they are. aren't they? They're yeah. the ones that add the bling or sparkle. Yes. They're the ones that don't anything away. They're yeah. the ones you reach for every time to compliment yeah. whatever. Right. It'll go with whatever, won't yeah. it? Anything that you put next to this gemstone will work. And look at that sparkle, just compliment. What about putting it with something like that pyrite? That would be so sparkly. It's like treasure, oh, yes. isn't it? 
Look at that sparkle. I love sparkle. What about... Oh, do you remember that strand? So pretty. What about these shapes, Debbie? Where do you tend to put these shapes? I can't see quite flat what shapes are flat. Coins. Well, I think they sit nice, nice and flat against the skin. So do I, yeah. So they go nice in between other designs. You could do beady beads and things in between them, but because they're nice and they're flat and they sit nicely, those can be sort of um, in between their spaces, really. Keep it uniform. Yeah, I think so. THG. But you know, just elasticated bracelet with those in. It's simple. Yeah. I don't go with everything that's nice in your wardrobe. A nice little silver charm on it or something. A soda really light would look nice. Yeah, it would. Yeah, Wouldn't it? it? Would. Have a look. Simple stretching. Do you know, what about, Debbie, if you're wire wrapping? Coloured wire through there because you'd see it. I know. Antique bronze wire. You could do, but I think it's a shame, actually, if you put wire through because then you do see it. It's nice to see the clear. Stick to silver wire, probably, to add to the sparkle. Yeah. Yeah? Ignite you know what I mean? it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I really do. I, it's nice and frosty and cool if you do the silver wire. Show you the whole strand. Look at that sparkle. Let's give you a price tag. Pmp all day long. So if you're buying with us already this morning, then stack it up. Eight pounds and ninety-five pence is your price tag. THG P76. It's luscious to have your company here this morning on Jewelry Maker. I'm privileged to have you. Double four six double five all the W's dot jewelrymaker dot com. Now, what about that citrine? What about that citrine with that carnelian? Ooh, that's gorgeous. Look at those together. I do love that. Isn't it? Just beautiful. Look at those golden tones. Fantastic. Look at that colour. It's beautiful, isn't it? SLS F56 is your item code. 70 carats in this strand. Citrine is associated with November, along, of course, with topaz. I would put this with something delicate. It's the gemstone of happiness. Where would you put this citrine, Debbie? Can you see the colour? Can we show Debbie on the big screen? Because these it's are right. like, I can see it. they're I can see it. glowing with that amazing golden tone. Well, we've seen lots of different tones. We think. have today. We've seen some beautiful strands today. I think they would look stunning with garnet. Yes. They would look absolutely yes, beautiful would. with garnet. The, re the richness of mm. the two together. They're so golden. What about running some gold wire through there? Yeah, that would look nice. Sort of light it up from the yeah. inside, won't it? 70 carats. These look nice in crochet, I think, this shape and size. Let's give you a price tag. I bring you this strand from the Gems of Distinction collection. Nine pounds and ninety-five pence, under ten pounds. You've got a long strand here. They're mirror graduated, under ten pounds. Is a fantastic price tag. Have a look at that colour. Gorgeous. What about with that crackle quartz? Very subtle together, aren't they? I've got multicolour quartz coming up for you in a sec. That's pretty. Oh, isn't that pretty together? Well done to everybody that's got there. Stay exactly where you are. Please check baskets out if you are shopping with us online today. Now, are we, which one are we going to do next? I know this is going to sell out. Debbie, we're doing that pyrite. When you silver coat pyrite, you get the finished effect of platinum. Look at the colour. Literally blinding me when I move it. You're like, whoa. Like disco lights. Now Debbie's in love with this strand. Tell me what, what draws you. I think it's just the sparkle and the fact it's like looking at a mirror. It's, yes. it's just got that old fashioned mirror look. You know Antique when a mirror, mirror starts yeah. to, to rub off, you know? That's that's what I think it reminds me of. And it's again it's just it's just a backdrop for so many other gems. 
See, if, if it was me, I'd probably buy two or three of those and keep that throughout the year because you don't have to use them all now. Very, very glamorous. Mm. Oh, beautiful. You're going to a summer ball or something. Oh, lovely. Oh, I love the sound of going to a summer ball. <laughs> Do you? Out in the garden. Oh, look at that sparkle. The look of platinum. Silver coated pyrite, 145 carats. Cascade these from earrings. Ignite the gemstones that you put next to it. Let that luster travel around. Put it with wire work, a la Gemma Crow. Absolutely stunning. From the Gems of Distinction Collection, we're going lower than we're supposed to. These were outlined. Recommended price tag of $19.95. Today, we're going to launch these at a cheeky price tag of under £15. Get yourself on those lines. There are queues already. $13.95. You're getting such an incredible deal. Think about what you're getting for your money. Think about where you're going to put them in earrings, cascading from a Debbie Bulford style tassel. Put them with pearls, put them with anything that you feel is luxurious. Have a look with those huge 11 mil pearls. So special, isn't it? Well, Debbie, what, what kind of jewellery are you going to create with this strand? Oh, just just very indulgent, just just wonderful jewel. In fact, I'll probably just sit and stroke it for a while. Keep it in your stash. Yes, and just sit and look at it. It's so lovely, I don't want to cut it. Do you know, it's one of those that you think, oh, I'll just sit and look at it for a while. Definitely. <laughs> Wait really until silly. that perfect opportunity mm. comes along. Because I don't want to use it with everything, that's my problem. I love it. It's literally, it's mesmerising. It's almost hypnotic. Now I'm going to bring you that multicolour quartz strand. Oh, we've got some treats and some goodies today, haven't we? Treats and goodies. Look at this. I said this yesterday. When you put all these colours together, it reminds me of bunting in the summertime. You know those lo cute little Kath Kidson style yeah. bunting? You knew I was going to say, I'm obsessed. I know. I know I'm obsessed, aren't I? I know. Have a look. It's not bad enough that Kath Kidson accessorises now. Now, wallpaper, flooring, come on. Break my bank. Those are gorgeous together. What about, oh, I like that as a three strand pack. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. They go nicely with Debbie's challenge, actually. Look at these. Oh, I like that. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm with the greys from Debbie's Challenge. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? WVG P41 is your item code. A brand new strand with colour for the summertime. Multicoloured quartz. You've got your rose quartz, your clear quartz. You've got your amethyst in there, and you've got your lemon quartz in there too. So pretty, so classic, so pretty summertime, summer dress. That's what this is reminding me of. And a lovely shape and size to put in earrings, bracelets, necklaces, make clusters out of, rosary style. Let's give you a price tag. These are 12 by eight millimeters, and they're under 10 pounds at 95 pence. Don't forget you got a 30 day money back guarantee. These are the perfect classic colours to get into your summertime collection. 9.95 with a 30 day money back guarantee. They're gorgeous. Aren't they fabulous? Now, it's time to refresh your memory on Debbie's challenge. I've got three gorgeous gemstone strands for you. And we're going to go on over and have a look at Debbie's jewellery that she's created. And I'm going to take... Are you ready for me, Mrs Bulford? I think so. When is, when is anyone ever ready for, for Jelly Cleary? That's what I want to know. Are you ready? We're going to make our way over. <laughs> oh, it's time to get that roast out of the oven in a minute. Now, have a look. What have you made? Oh, Gizmo. You did this with the um, early bird this morning. Did you Gizmo work? Mm -hmm. Oh, Debbie, this is very luxurious. Look at that, look at this. 
sheer luxury of it. <gasps> You like that? Mm, yeah, I really do. I just found that, that bead. I found two beads, actually, a, a rose gold one and a, a, and a gold one. I thought, oh, I could use those. That so. is, again, summer night's jewellery, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe with a bit of leopard print, a leopard print oh, maxi. Oh, yeah, 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 nice yeah, very nice. You know, like the darker leopard print, yeah, more brown do, yeah. and sort of camel -y colour? Mm, nice. That's, that would look nice with that, nice. wouldn't it? yeah. Now, this is I've played gorgeous. with the wiggy jig, 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 jiggy jig. Wiggy, jiggy, wiggy jig, jig, jig. Jig, jig thing. And just did a, a very simple jiggy, jiggy, jig thing over the front and back. And then wired I them together. It. I'm back. <gasps> yeah, I really like that. So you've just held on to that beat. And I love your tassel. And I love it. Oh, I love Thank it. You. That's Thank gorgeous. You. You're brilliant, you are. You're yeah. blinking brilliant. <laughs> Have a look. Just a really, really simple one there, but... Love those greens. And I do. And I do. Now, if you're not sure how to work your gizmo, look at this. No, I wanted some very fine um, antique bronze wire, but we didn't have any, so I had to improvise with some beading thread. So I've just... Oh, just wound the, the Yeah, just wound the beading thread round, 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 round the core, so it almost sort of catches it, you know, in the back. That's kind of Roman goddess as I well. I know. But you see, I like those bracelets, just coils in different colours. Oh, just, I absolutely uh, agree with I you. I think they look yeah. just nice, plain. And nice when you um, mix two different wire colours yes, together in one absolutely. bracelet. Yeah, I agree yep. with that. I do. Mm. It's sometimes it's not all about the gemstones. Just play with the wire. Oh, you just, have to it's add just gems. making it really, really simple, isn't mm. it, really? You've and got a three-strand weave. weave here. Yeah. Simple three-strand weave that, that always works, doesn't it, really? And I always think how soft the beading thread yeah. is when you're with a weave. It really is absolutely. soft. Have a look. You've used the cone-shaped bead here. And those greys are fab. They're going to be they're very lovely. on trend, aren't they, in summer grey? They grey. are, and they'll go with lots of other colours as well, won't they? They will. Mm. Are you showing us a technique? I don't no, know. We're not. I haven't asked, but no. no, I don't think so, unless you want me to. I don't we know. Haven't got, we haven't got time. It was me no. wanting one. Oh, right. Me oh, wanting right. one. Sorry, no. sorry. Not 14 95 for those three gorgeous strands. I'm going to give you a little heads up on what they look like individually. You didn't catch them this morning. They're gorgeous, aren't they? For four pounds and 95 pence you've got the grey agate the Botswana agate and the moss agate really pretty I've got a cheeky little special offer that I can see have you on gold findings just <gasps> arrived oh Two wow for one again. Oh, do you remember gosh. that silver one yeah we we, is it Very going at the same good. price it can't be because gold's more expensive than silver Let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look. I'm not telling you yet, apparently. So, for findings, so you've got 200 findings, and these are nine karat gold on e-coated copper. So if you've just started shopping with us here at Jewelry Maker, you might be wondering, what is this e-coating? What is it? E-coating, now, how many times has somebody said to you, I can't wear anything but silver or gold in my ears because I'm allergic? You know, we've all got that friend. My sister, in fact, can't wear anything but silver and gold because she's allergic to it. Now, e-coating takes that all away because it makes your findings hypoallergenic. We've tested this out ourselves. Our, one of our producers, Deanna, is super allergic and she is fine with this. My sister is fine with it too. Now, you've got nine karat gold, that element of nine karat gold. The e-coating will also prevent the nine karat gold from tarnishing. Gone are the days of plating, rubbing off in a couple of days and turning your hands green. That does not happen anymore. It's a fantastic opportunity for you to bump up your findings. If you bought the silver ones earlier, you know where we're going with this. You pay just one PMP, add this to your order. Two meters of chain, four toggle clasps, six pairs of shepherd's hooks, four chandelier findings, your eye pins, your head pins, your, uh, your balls, your split rings, your jump rings, and your crimp beads. Absolutely everything you need in your findings collection. LOG C65. 200 findings. We will give you a buy one, get one free offer. Loads of you on the phone lines for these already. I think these are going to go the same way as the silver did. If you bought the silver and you're stashing up on your findings, these are things you are always, always going to use. Never going to be a waste of money. You will always need your findings. So let's give you a price tag. If you remembered, 
7.95 was the price tag for the silver findings. We're giving you the same price. And you've got the element of gold, which we all know gold's more expensive than silver, don't we? 30-day money-back guarantee and one PMP all day long. You have got 200 individual elements to your findings. Great if you've just started jewelry making. Wonderful if you've been jewelry making for a long time, then you already know that these are essential. And you know what? It's fabulous to have your company today. There are stacks of you on the phone lines. Please don't hang up if you're experiencing an engaged tone. Just hang up the hang up the receiver and redial. Check out baskets if you're shopping with us online today because these will go limited any minute now and I would hate for you to miss out. So don't forget to check out your baskets. Seven pounds and 95 pence, two meters of chain. It's gonna go so, so far. Remember you're getting a buy one, get one free deal. Wowzers. You always need findings, don't you, Debbie? Oh, findings, uh, you never ever lose money buying loads and loads of findings, because they will come in, they might not come in now, but they, they will be used eventually. Always, I think you're always, always. going to use them. Absolutely. If you are hearing an engaged tone, please hang up and redial or go shopping online. There's no queues on the website, of course, but it is busy. £7.95 is your price tag. Please, please make sure you check out your baskets. We do not hold items there. The code LOG C65. Now we're going to go to the Moogite. I love Moogite because it's so rich and deep and you've got solid colour. Sometimes you need that solid colour, pure colour all the way through. You don't want clarity. You want something that's going to give you a base, a backdrop. You want something that's going to add a powerful strength of colour. And this is a gemstone strand that will give you loads and loads of different colour, loads and loads of different shades. You've got the vanillas in here. Now, this is a particularly rich strand of Mukite. Have a look at those colours. Think about where you, you got the French mustard. I always love that. What would you put with this strand, Debbie? What about those Probably flowers? some wooden, if, if there was any on the website, I think there are actually at the moment, some wooden beads would be nice. I haven't seen wooden beads for a long time. Always for summer. I hope we've we got do. some. We do, the really nice dark chocolate browns. I think look lovely I love with them. that. Yeah, I really yeah. love them. They're really, they are really summery surfer style, aren't they? Mm. Love them with the jasper flowers that we had earlier, and actually, a view that suggested putting Moo Kite with those. They do, they really work, don't they? What about putting Tiger's Eye with Moo Kite? That's really rich together. Brand new today, we'll give you a price tag as soon as we can. What about with that pyrite? That pyrite's gone limited. That's your favourite combination so far, Claire? These two together. Aren't they fabulous? Really luxury. Luxurious, really luxury. That's really luxury. Sometimes I wonder how I make it out the front door. Now, let's give you your price tag for this fabulous strand of Mukai. I'm thinking mill round. I do like a head pin cluster. Your tassels would look lovely they with an eight actually, mil round. They would, yes, with those. And they look nice if you just coil the head pins down and put them onto a bracelet so it looks like a... Um, a rosary style. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. If you, if you put the head pin through, then you coil it down and keep doing loads of them. It looks like one of those bracelets just made from... Um, Jump rings. Like a sweetie bracelet. Yes. Yeah. And then they just, just sort of tassel. Loads of them. Yeah, loads. And like, they're like, oh, yeah, I like that mm. idea. Lots of charms you could do out of these. Definitely the Debbie style tassel. Six, are you serious? Six ninety five is your price tag for these. Brand new strand of Mukai. And the eight mil round. Eight mil round is probably one of the most versatile sizes. Do anything with an eight mil round, can't you? You can actually. Eight mils are the, are the one thing that I'd buy for, for beginners straight away. Because they're easy, aren't they? They are. Six pounds and ninety-five pence is your price oh, tag. Do you have fun? Gorgeous. Oh eight hundred. 
No, she hasn't. Get in here, lady. Don't you move a muscle. You're not going to believe. Please, please let me. Please let me. They won't let me. I'm not allowed to. I've got another strap. Oh, you wait. You're amazing. I love it. I love it. Sorry, sorry. I'm just looking at everybody's jewellery and it's amazing. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm sorry. Where is it? Where is my box? Oh, where is it? What does it look like? Rounds. Oh, I thought these were part of a um, two-strand pack that we had earlier. These ones, yeah? Grey Botswana Agate. I got it, I got it. This is the right one, correct? It's because I keep picking this up, I thought we'd I thought that it was part of a strand pack. I love this colour. Very summery. Have you got any rose quartz? Perfect. What about? I definitely think. Like those a lot. A lot. You know, but these will go with anything. Get yourself on the phone, 0800 6 555. Beautiful for rings. I would definitely make a wire work ring out of these. You've got a nice checkerboard faceting going on. And I love the stripes. Each one individual. You've got smoky tones. You've got more of the cloudy whites. You've got the golden tones in there as well. Almost like at that um, sort of beer quartz colours there. HOP 096 is your item code. Get yourself involved, we're going to give you a wicked price tag. No questions asked, money back guarantee. There are lots of you in queues. There's a four minute queue on the phone lines, please bear with. And check out your baskets. Are you ready? At £10 and 95 pence, you've got yourself an incredible gemstone strand. You've got yourself all of those tranquil dove greys. And you've got all of those fabulous facets. Thanks, Jack. I have now those rich colours. Look at these. These are really deep, rich colours. And I would have these in my stash because sometimes you get a little bit of a colour block in your mind and you forget what goes with what. You know, you've been so concentrating on the design you forget sometimes about colour. Now have a look at all of these colours. You've got that fabulous plum jam red, greens, yellows, oranges, just fantastic, aren't they? Look at the sparkle. Now there's lots of clarity in each gemstone strand. What would you do? Would you separate these all out? Would you keep them all in their colours as they are? Whatever you do, send it into the Wall of Fame. Brand new in today. Lord Oxbury, nice of you to join us this afternoon. Hello. JCG P17, are you ready for a cracking price tag? $7.95 for all of this colour. Think about the colour blocking that you're going to do in the summertime, the spring summer collections. Think about when you're starting to add splashes of gorgeous colour into your collections. It really is luscious to have you on the phone. There are two minute queues, please bear with £7.95 for all this colour. And I love my crackle course. All right, I can bear it no longer. I'm getting over to, I've seen a mermaid. I don't want to, hang on, I've got, I've got, is my microphone on? Yeah. You ready for me, ladies? Ready. You're ready. Now, let's have, now, I, uh, I put you to the test earlier, didn't I? I can't believe you did it. You I had to go, it. I had to go. Come on. It's a bit late in the day. I was going to be gold, but I used the gold, so. I Copper. love it. Can you see? Look at the, the mermaid. How long did it take you? Oh, how long did it take? Yeah, something like that. It's Still amazing. about two seconds after coming in. Look at that. I love those. Did you love that shell? Now that shell sold out. Oh, she's drunk. She's capsized. She's drunk. 
have a look. Isn't that fabulous? I love her bikini. Yeah. <laughs> I want a shell bikini. <laughs> I love that. The shell was just made for the feet. Three bits. Absolutely. That's the first thing I thought it. when I yeah. saw it. I loved yeah. it. Now, you've also made some really incredible... You've been well busy. I... Look. Is this yours? Yeah. Yeah, those, those three. See yeah. the pendants that we had earlier? The I'll Viking knit we did start in our pre pre experience experience that we had last night. So we were, oh, we were Viking little, knitting in, in the hotel. In yeah. your beer fest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what it's all about, you know. If you want a jewellery, make glass or isn't that fabulous? I really like those big featured gemstones. Oh, yeah, I lovely. was struggling with what do I do with these other than um, a tassel. It's amazing. Because mm. if you put it over the stone, you're hiding all that beautiful lining in it. Of you're right. Quartz. You're amazing at wire work. Oh, thank you. I go a bit mad, mad with wire work. Why not? I love that. Absolutely. It's very, it is very long. Apparently, I'm talking <laughs> to you, moving it away. Yeah. As I'm going to, it's no good, is it? Now, look at these earrings. You know I'm going to love those. Shoulder Light dusters. Ones. They're just quick and easy, so... Gorgeous. Right, I'm going to have to move along yeah, the line yeah, yeah. really quickly. Let's have a sweep of everything. Now, we saw that fabulous cuff that you'd made yeah. bracelet. I yeah. love it. Beautiful. The garnet bracelet is stunning. Have a look at that. Here, look, garnet bracelet. There we go. The, the, this one here, darling. This one here, Amelia. <laughs> have a look. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, it's just simple with the monofilament. Absolutely stunning. Now let's move back up and have a look. You didn't use the jig? No, I didn't use the jig, no. It's You're just the very round nose pliers, neat. Right at the very base of the round nose pliers and just keep winding your wire around. Very neat and tidy. I love yeah. your roses, love that garnet. We've got to be quick. I don't, I don't want to hurry this. Look! With that, how I like, love the turquoise. With that rose gold it's style lovely, wire. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely really beautiful. bracelet. <laughs> Jack's got a break. Jack, you tea leaf. That's my job. Nobody steals without the cleary around. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look. And you've made... Is all of this yours? No, and then we've got... This is, this is all mine. That's this yours. Mine. <laughs> what have you made? I love the stretches you've made. You've made lots of big, chunky yeah. pieces. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, I've had a really good time, yeah. Been fab having you all. <laughs> have you left me any brownies? Yes. yes. Good girls. <laughs> We have time. <laughs> Look, haven't you? Brilliant. There's loads of sweets. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love the hearts. Isn't that beautiful? Love all these colours. Go online and have a look what's still available. Love that black and gold obsidian. A lariat style here as well. Isn't that fab? Can you see? Wonderful. Isn't that fabulous? Love the colours. Real summer vibe going on. Oh, they, where did you get those? Ones. These are beautiful. Oh, my daughter would love that. Yeah. How pretty That's what, is that? I've made it quite little because it looked like something a little, like a little small girl would wear. Or, but they're so pretty. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Just stunning. And let's have a look. What have you, oh, I saw this earlier, the nice. butterfly. It's really, really intricate. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I love butterflies. Yeah, so do I. And I thought I wanted something that was a bit colourful and just a bit different. Now have a look. Very Downton Abbey, darling. Yes, <laughs> yes, very Downton Abbey. Can you see? Isn't that amazing? You're brilliant. Thank look you. at this charm bracelet. Who's done that? I did that one. I did those two. Oh, oh, I love that. Love the colour of that, yeah. that quartz. Yeah, it's so colourful. It needed to all be together, I thought. And I agree with right. that. I'd keep them all together. I know yeah. a lot of people separate their colours, yeah. but I keep them together too. Yeah, no, I tried to be quite random where I put them, but that's easier said than done. But yeah, I thought that they really did work well together. Like They're beautiful, aren't they? Mm. Now, is this yours as well? Yeah. This no, is yours. This is mine. Yeah. Come on, girl. Go. Oh, you've made a hair comb. Oh, that's what I brought in with me. For to well, let's have let's uh, give it some air time. Have a look at that. Match that. So, uh, I, I love the power shell as well. So, uh, I wanted to oh play. look, you've made a stem out of the power shell. Can I just show everybody that? And you've made a charm bracelet as well. Yes. I Whoops. need to do some more work on the flower of the. And get some more wire onto because 
The power shells are so large, they need a lot more wire around it, but I haven't had time. What did you think of that power shell? It's gorgeous. I sat there and I was so envious, and she kindly let me have two. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> very, very envious. Now, I love heart-shaped gemstones. It's very Valentine's Day, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. The right time of year for it. You can't go wrong with a classic charm bracelet, can you? They're big yeah. sellers, I think, as well. People love to buy yeah. them. They're absolutely... Whoops. Yeah. I'm going to show you all. With that pendant, now you've done something totally different yeah. with the pendant. <laughs> And I love that because I was, you know, I look at these big gemstones and I love them and I can see they're wonderful for wire wrapping, but I'm not quite sure how. Well, I would have normally gone with gold, but there wasn't any gold. So I thought I'd try it with copper and I love that feature piece. So uh, just gave it a go. It's beautiful. Yeah, quite pleased with that one. I really like that wire. I think it looks um, kind of like rose gold, doesn't it? Yeah, it really was. It's my, one of my favourite colours. And then look at the gizmo earrings. These are fabulous. We didn't have any rose gold findings, so I had to make the ear wires myself. So. But that's the beauty of it. Yeah. You can do that, it can't matched. you? It It was nice, easy with the wire. And you get the perfect metal match then. Yeah. And you've made some really cute earrings here. Yes, yeah, so I went a bit mad on earrings. Well, there's no such thing as going mad on earrings. That's what we should all do. I love this. Do you think it looked like House of Pyrite? Yes, it does, yeah. It's, uh, it's got a little sparkle in it and it catches the light. It does, doesn't it? Very I don't know pretty. why. It's, it's incredible having that sparkle. Then have a look. Now, I had a little look at this earlier. You've done a Debbie-style tassel there. Yes. Inspired by Mrs. Bolford? Uh, yes. <laughs> always. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Uh, it's, it's, I always like to wear long tassel necklaces. So, uh, Me too. Oh, you've got one on now. and I've you've got, got your one on, yes. So you've all had a wonderful day. It's yeah. been brilliant, and it's been brilliant meeting new people and mm. having fun with Linda as oh. well. You've all got on like an absolute house on fire, <laughs> yes, right. cackling yeah. like you wouldn't <laughs> believe this morning. If you want to get involved in one of our uh, Sunday experiences, please give us a call. We love to have your company. Get together in, on Facebook. Come on over, ladies. Come and say hi and have a look I'm at this. Gordon, now we've been joined by Hannah Oxbury, who doesn't ever seem to have a day off. <laughs> <laughs> Do you live here? Under the desk. Yeah. Oh, you do live here, don't you? Yeah. I know you do. <laughs> yeah. What do you think today? What's struck you? It's just been brilliant. It's the first time I've done the Sunday experience and I've enjoyed every minute of it. It's great to see different people's ways of working and um, reactions to gemstone. Enjoyed it. I want to do it every week. <laughs> I know. And what about, has anyone got any requests for Hannah to be putting on the order list mm. for us? Or oh, Hannah, what have you got coming up? Um, oh, I've got some new tools out on Friday. Some exciting jump ring cutter tools. So. What, to make him like saw cut? Yeah, literally oh, saw cut. Oh, we've been looking for those. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. yeah, yeah. all coming out. Debbie's, Debbie's brilliant. on Friday. Brilliant. <laughs> Debbie, we're going to look forward to that. So we need to tune in for Friday's show for that one. Yep, yep. Now, have you ordered that white wire? Is it in yet? White wire is on its way. It's all been ordered. So, yep, that's yes, all done. Yes, See, yeah. the power of Facebook, that I'm is. I'm probably going to get told off for this, but we have new gauges of wire coming as well. <gasps> yes! <laughs> now, Hannah, I heard a bit in the rumour mill that we're trying to get some chain in, maybe on yep, reels. chain on reels has been ordered also. You so can confirm that that rumour is, in fact, true. That is a true rumour, yep. Yep, that's a fact. Fantastic. <laughs> There's lots of other rumours that I'm not sure I want to spread out there with the Jewelry Maker Tower. We have an incredible day today. Sunday is such a fabulous Sunday experience. Yeah. You'd recommend it to oh, everybody? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Start on Saturday night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with a bit of Pinot Grigio, a beer or two, maybe a cider. Get yourself in. Get yourself in. Now, what these ladies had all done was all um, met up on Facebook first, where they'd all said, right, we're going to Sunday. And, and then organised a meet the night before in the hotel. And they've had a wonderful day. And we've had a wonderful day having you here. So thank you so much, ladies, for all your inspiration. Now, don't forget, you can check out the live show today on YouTube. Um, it will go straight on YouTube afterwards. I'm back live at 5 o'clock with some absolute bargains for you, 5 till 9. So please tune in. Now, ladies, you get gr go home and tune in. <laughs> I'm going to bring you some incredible bargains. All that's left for us to say is enjoy your Sunday roast. A great big goodbye. A fabulous oh, seeing you. Bye. bye. <laughs>
You can watch Jury Maker live every day, 9 till 1, on Sky 655, Virgin 756, Freesat 807, or Freeview Channel 43. The Jury Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jury designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jury Maker account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jurymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, Coloured Rocks Limited, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Good luck and happy jury making. We all know you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new jewellery maker hobby. The early bird catches the worm. Don't miss out on your chance to grab our amazing early bird offers at 9am on weekday mornings. Catch them while you can. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewellery Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our